has been playing a lot of MK1 lately. Uh, Ooh, okay. But, you know, bounces around across the board between Street Fighter 6 and MK. But Aeon FX with Bridget. See how that yo-yo game trick oh, man, plays I out in this matchup here. Change society. Yeah, let's see it. Aeon heading on against Trevor Nagoriyuki versus Bridget here. So it's going to be one of those matches where, you know, Nagoriyuki, once he's able to make his way on in, Bridget does not have a lot of help to, you know, be able to survive. Right. It might be a two-touch kind of interaction. You do have... You know, that 5 frame 2k, you have DP to try and squirrel out of the offense, but, you know, you really want to keep him at bay with the 2s, a lot of these long-reaching normals, and being squirrely with the approach to try and keep him on his toes. So, letting the full intros rock, I think they're both shaking out the stream nerves here as we head into our first match. Yeah, I think it's going to be important that Bridget really kind of tries to lock down the goal. Yuki. Trevor likes to play in the style that keeps the opponent locked down. Ceiling Way turns an early burst there. Trevor's already sitting pretty right now at this round start. 5p, 6p to follow up here. He's big counter hit heavy. Yeah, OTG 6 H, and that's the 2 H to catch you right out of the corner. I like the Fukio back from Trevor, right? It's, you know, something we've been talking about with Grand Blue and across all these other games, that zone where you just want to stay right under the timer and catch out any approach option from the uh, from the corner. And that's so key for the style that Trevor likes to play, honestly, just playing around with a lot of that range that Nagoryu pick, Nagori picks up with. Don't see a whole lot of blood spend from Trevor's play anyways because of the fact that he loves to play that neutral space to really take advantage of the opponent. And already a blood-sucking universe to finish it off here. No DP to save you here, which is usually the go-to, right? If, uh, in that corner situation, I guess Nagoryuki can kind of try to gamble with a DP opportunity out. But mm -hmm. to your point, right, you're playing within that zone right underneath that timer that really kind of calls out that DP opportunity for Bridget. You have to think outside of the box more, try to challenge with your uh, far slash or even heavy slash buttons. But Nagoryuki is definitely the one to win in those interactions with this character. Yeah, absolutely. We think of him as a high damage character, but he definitely also contests a lot in the range battle, right? Mm -hmm. Trevor, you know, uses a few specials back and forth with the Fukio to maintain that space. You know, ro dice roll with the Beyblade DP as well. And now you're at level two, contesting Bridget at some of her best ranges. But before we forget, just want to shout out A&D with a tier one. I see that nine months over there, and I'm seeing quite a bit of damage coming off from Trevor here just immediately bursting out of the gate. Yeah, round start, 6P, and Trevor continues to run with it here. The Shatter will absolutely kill, and a great start for Trevor again. Yeah, again, another quick round. It's really seeing like, seeming like Aeon is having a hard time trying to uh, play keep out here. Tried to go a little aggressive with a run up, maybe 2K, but no. Force into the corner once again. That's all it, these counter it. hits. Aeon, you got a block. That is tragic. Actually, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, we might have a scaling. No, no but with the wall break, you were I, right. <laughs> and I the had perfect a, on top. I definitely had a sliver of hope that you are going to survive at how long you were going up to the sky. I didn't see Slash come up. Like, you know what? Maybe you got, like, an interaction here. But, yeah, to your point, we got to start blocking some of this interaction here against Nagoryuki. All that you're telling Trevor right now is that he can just completely disrespect a neutral. He's doing solid guesses between 6P start. We saw a 2K start. And yep. it's not the traditional start that we see from Nagoryuki. It's already hard enough as it is opening Gambit against Nagoryuki. But the fact of the matter is that Trevor's just big chilling. Let me press my neutral button and win the challenge. Yeah, oh. exactly. And it's not like blocking is going to be the only thing you need to do in the matchup, right? But you got to represent it. You can show that you can be aggressive, play that active keep out, but no, every time Trevor's able to get the soft oh, knockdown, no. you're trying to scramble out of the defense and you're out of range of the YRC. Another, yeah. Nope. For oh. now. <laughs> That's a beautiful blood rage there and helps out tremendously for Trevor. Uh, but yeah, and that's exactly why we see Trevor playing at that range. It's such a smart range for him to play at because you're going to avoid that YRC opportunity from the opponent time and time again. You're usually outside of the range to go for uh, you know, the opponent wants to go DP. You're going to punish that right after. Your max range against uh, Bridget here. And Trevor's just waiting. This is to overextend because Bridget's making mistakes for him. Yeah, playing super patient here, right? We're seeing Aeon kind of do these micro delays, wait back and forth, you know, for a couple seconds. All right, we get the super. It's not a lot of damage. Doesn't really lead oh, you no, to the Oki situation you're looking for, though. That is not the punish you need to get the momentum back. And Trevor seals it out with the clone. We were seeing Aeon kind of do a lot there in the mid range, right? Just trying yeah. to wait it out, see if Trevor was going to be a little bit more a lot aggressive. Of Bed certainly one of them. Let's see how yeah. uh, Elfelt handles this character. 
Yeah, I think, uh, you know, especially now in the present day, both of these characters are relatively <laughs> underrepresented. I would say definitely more so for Bedman, right? Uh, there are yeah. only a few more Bedman soldiers left. I can think of Witch Hazel, I can think of GC Yoshi, but off the top of my head, not many others, but already no mm -hmm. burst on the table. Not a lot of damage done here. Iku is trying to set up that record pressure, but instead just tries to go for the Pineberry and, uh, you know, stay a little whirly with it. Yeah, these low Rekkas continue here. It's going to be tough for Bedman to try to interrupt. We see a lot of uh, FD coming through here to try to gain some space. You see Yoshi does finally get out. It's a couple close slashes there. Yep. All right, Flyers. Oh. Yeah, you got to use it, right? You, you don't want to bank on the super. You got to use the Invincible Reversal with that 50 meter, but still GC Yoshi keeping the pressure on. Another 50 meter in the bank here to try and keep these error follow-up pressures going. Yeah, that was really important there, too. Like, uh, Ikushisu hit with that YRC. It did remove that error code from Batman there. Nice! Got his guard cancel out, trying to end this round. That's a 2-H right there for uh, GC Hoshi and Batman. It's victory. Yeah, so back and forth already in that first round. I like the use of the deflect shield there, like you were saying, right? Now that the pushback has been a lot more normalized, it's a lot better as a defensive tool, especially against Elfeld, someone who can struggle sometimes to get that first hit or even to start that block string, but really just runs away with it as soon as she gets that Rekka. So having another way to get her off of you, very important here. She runs back in with the crossover IAD. Two Ks and beautiful interrupt on the startup of that Rekka series there. Nice, still able to get a 2D pickup. Bombs away, GC Yoshi calls out the burst. Nice stuff here to maintain that control. Yeah, you had to burst eventually, right? So it was just a matter of when GC Yoshi was going to checkmate you with that RC. Just waiting, delaying it. Knows that you're looking for an opportunity to get on out. But no, GC Yoshi closes out the first game. Yeah. And a great showcase, too. If I remember correctly, GC Yoshi did play Batman in Exerd. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. So very much it's interesting to see GC Yoshi still picking up Batman in this version of the game. It's such a different sort of flavor compared to what Batman was capable of. Both these characters, really, very different than what they were in the original uh, entry. Absolutely. Definitely uh, very different from their Exert versions, but still fighting on through here in game number two. Oh, that's a big whiff on the JH after the Pineberry. I wonder if you're looking for an empty low setup, but no. This gives GC Yoshi the opportunity to projectile war back in the full screen. Jump-ins there. Yes, error code was about primed and ready. Ikushisu going for the YRC to remove it. 5P. Yeah. Tries to get the anti-air. Does Elfell. You can see a lot of close slash uh, anti-airs there to start things off. Close slash into Rekka with 2D pickup on counter hit. That's unfortunate. Yeah, off of the 5K dash cancel. Looking for the confirm afterwards, but you still have this corner pressure. 50 meter behind it. Did we just go straight into Rekka? No. All right, let GC. Oh! First. Wait. Yeah, that gunshot does come through. Still running here. Another error code to get the blast off and a throw. Mm. Not quite yet enough to get the kill. No. Oh, oh, jump D right there to end off with a 2K finish. Yeah, Batman, just one of those characters, right? So tricky with the air dash now that it's been made a little bit faster. And it's 8-way, right? So GC Yoshi, again, just making such good use of being tricky with it, especially on the pressure. That install super just barely sealed out the round from you. And now, with the momentum, trying to keep Iku locked down in this corner. Look at this, it's a jump D. That's supposed to be jump H, that multi-hitting with the, the buzzsaw, the fall through here. But again, pressure with that error code to prime it off. Goes for the guard cancel, still not enough to get GC Yoshi out of the corner. Relentless, perfect victory there for game two. Yeah, I guess that's a heartbreaker for Iku, right? You're trying to use the deflect yeah. shield to bait out a whiff there and then try and take your turn back, but that 5H still reaching even mm -hmm. afterwards. 50 meter down the drain. Yeah, gosh. And, you know, I do like some of the opportunities where um, we do see a lot of Ikushisu going for these fireball setups there. Of course, it does have that bounce, right? If you go for the uh, slasher heavy version. Um, but, gosh, just the way that Batman is able to throw bombs out, especially with just the aerial uh, fireball on top of it. Like, it's just constant firing away, especially when you have Erico to send another projectile right after the fact. Jesus, nice wild assault there to blast through the fireball. Guard break follows through. Oh my god, that's a full charge explosion too. All the plus frames in the world. Yeah, Elfeld, not exactly the tankiest character in the game, so this chip yeah. really matters here. How are you going to get your way out with no resources on the board, GCO? No. 
might just be able to checkmate, especially if you're not challenging the guard break. Those four or five guard breaks right there, like how many t there's, there's no opportunity for Ikashisa to get out. You only have 50% tension here. All right, there we go. Got a wreck of start, 2K, 2D pickup. For the Pineberry there, trying to look for something, but the JP just a little too shallow. Screen situation, we do have the air fireball. Another one there goes for slash version. There we go. I'm burying your face, but constantly GC Yoshi not afraid there, even when you're representing the empty lows, just says, No, I can just fuzzy block it. I've seen this before. I blocked an exert. I am all good. Bring you over to the corner. That's a backdash right over the 2S. Dash up and try to swing through these six P's here. See Kushisu. Right, jump H is still able to press. That's so misleading here. That almost auto fuzzy for Batman right there. All right, nice jump. We're just trying to seal it out, but that's the JH from the top rope. RC gives Iku Ooh. one more opportunity to fight back with two P2 PRC. It's first in. All right, Pine Berry does get interrupted there. Nice 6P from GC Yoshi to call it out. Awake at the wheel. That's a 3-0 victory with one of the strongest Bedmans that we're probably going to see here tonight. Let's yep. Gonna Jacko. be seeing the Jacko versus Anji here. So I imagine this is a matchup where Macbenz does not feel too bad about brawling in the mid screen here. And you don't feel too bad about I have never 360 no skill with a $5 contribution. Thank you so much. <laughs> So interesting that donation comes through after the uh, the elf elf play. Well done. Fujin serious goes low this time here. Shield out with the minion. He's trying to be cautious on the approach because Macmans can really turn it around with an explosive counter hit. But when you're juggled like this with two homies in the background, it's going to be tough to push right back out. 2K interrupts the dash. Let's play a game of volleyball here. And the homie right behind, ready for the alley oop. This should be able to break the wall. No, no, actually, just a little bit too far. And you got to block the fairy, but all good. You get the punish right after. Nice little follow up into the soccer kick finish. Off the 2D, no less. 6P. Well confirmed, but it does at least push you over to the corner. Joe Brownie up on the burst, but yeah, a big spin through 5H means that you are not trying to take that counter hit damage. Let's go jump back, jump dust. We'll get 6P here from Mac Benz. Full route, send the tweet with the overhead to get the pick up. Send the tweet, schedule the follow up. That is Mac Benz quickly tying it up here in the round count. That's a good answer back right there. You know, especially ahead on the burst gauge. Uh, Battle of attrition here. 6P took out both minions. Oh my goodness, that's a tough break there for Joe Brown. He's gonna have to hold that corner. Nice block on the overhead. Opened up after the 2S. I like the air dash back to try and catch out the air approach from Joe Brownie, but no, instead, now they're able to set up not one, but two minions just running all the way from downtown. The block on overhead does get the guard cancel here that we're looking for. They get out of this corner, 2D. Shield startup, that's tough because you're gonna get scooped up for that one. Not gonna activate the shield. Ooh. Run up gold burst here trying to close it out right now. Oh, Magnus with a no. positive bonus. No. Close it out. No! Don't choke! Okay. <laughs> oh, All you need is the little leggy low. The Nagi Ha puts the first game on the board for Mac Vans. Yeah, that was, uh, you were a little too far for the JH there. I understand. But I think it was interesting. We were seeing, uh, you know, towards the end there, once Joe Brownie has started representing the deflect shield in their pressure, you know, or on their defense, we were seeing some micro delays from Mac Vans to try and bait that out. I think earlier on, they tried to go for it, but swung a little too early into it mm. and then still got caught by the deflect shield. But I think that's something we're going to be seeing Mac Vans scout out further into the set. Yeah, it's very, this is the most really, I'm starting to see that uh, Deflect Shield becomes more and more important as time goes on. Of course, like starting to warm up to those mechanics by this point, you should be pretty well warmed up, all things considered with those new yep. mechanics. All right, jump P, shuts down a minion, safe landing here for Mac Benz. Good. Wow, IBFD there, getting a little bit of space. Nice back throw. Dash up, slash, nice. This will actually shatter here, nice, nice. Break the glass, clap the fans. Joe Brownie very low on the HP right now with Macmans. 
50 meter behind it. Next kid should be able to kill. Yeah, and we hold on to the burst. Yeah, absolutely. Thank goodness your muscle memory did not betray you there to try to eject out of there. And jump on over the hop, put up the defense shield, but now Macman's just waiting right behind. Tosses out the little leggy. The 5k says, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, Macman's very aware of the uh, minion game plan that Joe Brownie is trying to represent here. Uh, has been time and time again just going full stop, trying to bait out either shield and is being cautious on those forward approaches to make sure they can erase those minion setups. And it does pay off here because look, we already have that plus frame advantage with a couple fan tosses here. Low BG series. Okay, yeah, into the PRC. I like that late PRC. Try and catch out Joe Brownie. Swinging to try and take their turn back, but nah, Macmans puts another game on the board 2 0 right now. Yeah, very aggressive from Macmans, and that is certainly to be expected there. Uh, the additional layer of having that awareness on the approach to be able to shut down minions, I think, is just very key in this game, uh, in this matchup in particular. Joe Brownie doing their best, but I think it's also dissuading them from playing their traditional game plan. What that might be is usually just kind of having that minion lockdown like we saw in that first game, but now it's fully focused on defending and trying to get that space away from Macmans as opposed to putting minions in front of them to kind of give Macmans a moment of pause to get that breathing room that Joe might be looking for. Yeah, exactly. And it's like you're saying, right? If you just allow Jacko to just toss out the minions for free, then you have one, two attack commands that you have to worry about, even on these relatively unsafe block strings. But no, Macman is not letting them fly, right? Unless it's off of a knockdown, these minions are consistently being challenged. So here comes another minion toss, but it's all the way in the backfield, and it's not going to do any work. And you notice Wild Assault there to push further into the corner to remove even more possibility that the minion is going to support you. Good cross up here from Joe, Joe Brown to get that shatter. Possible BRC to slow the 2P down. Nice call out here from Joe. Take to the skies. A little afraid of what MacVens is doing on the ground, so you go for the fast BRC accelerator. Just go right over, but yeah, it's not going to open up MacVens. You still need one more hit. Counter hit here. Scooped up. Oh, no Another tweet please. sent. All oh, the low. What a sneaky low right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, towards the end there, we saw exactly what we were talking about. Macman's not letting the minions just get called out onto the screen. The 6P cleared not one, but both of them. And then Joe Brownie just scrambling to stay in here. This could be the last round. Crasher going for these far slash. We go Fujin series, no pickup after, just kind of sent it for the hard knock now. First out, Joe Brownie just barely on his last legs, barely any resources to his name, but he's still trying to build up this 50 meter. Not wasting it on the FD, you're looking for that RC. Oh, and there it is, YRC. Finish up the round. And the game, 3-0 victory for Mac Benz over Joe Brownie. Looks for the RC, but MacMans was looking at your attention just as closely immediately. Felt here, looking forward to seeing that. Plus, Potemkin, you know, uh, one of those characters that's definitely blessed with the white wild assault and the launcher here that does let you carry over to the corner. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, and already going straight into the pop buster here, stuck in the corner. Frame kill with the Mega Fist, and that is a quick round for Shampoo Goblin. Yeah, Elfel definitely not one of the tankier characters in the cast. Most certainly not, and geez, there's that wild assault here from Potemkin already closing that gap. May not have a traditional dash, right, but uh, is menacing enough with that walk alone. Slide head knockdown to shut down the wild assault. All right, he's barely able to avoid the Garuda. Ana, what are you going to be able to do? So Rekka here, because Shampoo Goblin on the Potemkin does not have an invincible reversal, you can run that pressure a little bit more scot-free, but nah, when you're able to get that reversal pop buster, you are cashing out for all the damage in the world. And just like that? <laughs> Damn, My goodness. Good. Yeah, I mean, for Potemkin to be able to close the gap against L felt like that and to constantly maintain offense, like that, Potemkin shut down a wild assault from L felt, which is crazy. I mean, granted, it's blue wild assault from Elfelt, which only gives you that guard break, doesn't give you the um, invulnerability, right? It's only the white wild assault that will give you that vulnerability, but yep. like, golly. Great awareness from Shampoo Goblin here. Already got the 2D knockdown. 
Good backdash, though, from Yada. Yeah, trying to catch out this uh, backwards movement, right? Throwing out the 2D, a long range low to try and sweep you. Catch that backwards, but now nah, Yada just pulling up, trying to get this pressure started here. And you have the Kara Super right off the Rekka. Jeez, and a nice chunk of damage right there, about one third away. And still no escape. The Rekka series will still come through for you. Got that burst. Yeah, and I like the use of the instant Rekka on the knockdown, right? Yada does not want to have the, you know, RPS between close slash trying to frame trap and now just go straight oh. into the mix. That could have been worse than what it was. And it's already looking pretty south here. BRC does not look for the button you're trying to find. You're trying to slow things down to that corner. Down an escape opportunity was only 5p, so that's going to be rapid recovery there. And the 5p, 5p check into the Kara Pop Buster Yada. Was definitely cooking there for a little bit, but it's just the HP and damage differential, right? A lot of times, unless Elthout has the meter behind it to really enforce this mix and the damage off of the wall break, which we're going to see right now after that command grab, you know, you just have to open up after quite a few interactions where Shampoo Goblin has a lot of health to work through. Dash up overhead, and here's that wreck of pressure once again. Nice low block back throw! Good recognition here from Shampoo Goblin to understand that once she goes low, that Rekka is set and done. Massive reaction back. Yeah, very well could be the uh, back throw incident, but no, Iata stays alive for just one more time to tie up the round count here. You are down full on the burst, but trying to wait out and build it back up. No, Wild Assault just goes right on through the Bridal Express. Right to go, White Wild Assault closes the gap. No burst available for either player unless we go for positive bonus opportunity here. By that point, we're going to see a dead character because Yada putting in a world of hurt with that red RC carry for the shatter. Mm -hmm. All right, immediately letting the Giganter rock. No, but we just run up right behind it. The cinematic just barely gives you enough time for it to pass by. That was scary. Yeah, that was very scary. And a great call to go for the back throw too. Oh! Into the 5P, Yada was tired of being afraid. He's thinking, oh man, I'm really up on the ropes constantly. My back is up to the wall. How do I get out? No, nah, I'm just gonna oh hold my me. ground, pull up with the Pineberry, and thank Alex the Lion for the five months of Prime. Nearly half a year of some good ass guild gear. Absolutely. Right, game number three here. Mm -hmm. Dual one. Let's rock. Ooh. All right, now a 6P start just goes for the uh, slash start there. All right, immediate burst out. I mean, you have a lot of health to build it back up, right? Yada yeah. has to, you know, open you up with a few interactions, so you're going to get that burst up relatively soon. But no, maybe not going to get it up in this round if Yada just keeps running away with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, good try there, but unfortunately, Hammerfall came through. Reversal Super will shut down Garuda and get you around. Yeah, right, because you could go for YRC and try and take your turn on the block, or you might as well cash off for the damage. That would kill and end the round. So Yada, trying to keep the pressure on here. Hello. Interrupt on that B or blue wild assault, but still Yada not deterred from that pressure. I mean, look at that already. Less than 50% health here available for Shampoo Goblin. Goes for the slash aerial shot, but we still have a punish opportunity thanks to the hammerfall coming through. Bam! Yeah, another wake up super. The invul reversal, just let it rock. And you're trying to get as much damage as possible off of this meter, right? So many times it's been just a difference in risk reward, but nah, Shampoo Goblin fights his way back on out. Yeah, good call out here off the down low. Ooh. Not quite a kill. Back dash for the same side off of Pineberry. You're nasty with it, Yada. So scary. It's hard to try to interrupt that too because you're expecting the the follow up through it. There's a, a handful of options that yep. Elfil can kind of pull off there, and just like we saw that same side punish or opener, excuse me, for that mix. I mean, mm -hmm. it's tough to react to because we saw a couple five Ps from Shampoo Goblin to really kind of call out some of these gaps. But something like that, it's going to be harder. We're seeing time and time again, it's Rekka starter as an Elfil will do, but it's mostly dash up Rekka, which is very interesting. Yeah, exactly. Just pulling up. Doesn't even want to have to do jail into button, right? And risk that frame trap. Even though Potemkin doesn't have a DP, a meterless DP, to uh, try and interrupt that gap. Nah, we're just going for the spacing backdash counter hit 5H into the super for another hard knockdown. 
You created a shimmy off of Miss Charlotte there. Go for a backdash far slash there. My God. All right. All right, White Wild is all right in your face, but again, another reversal super. It's valuable damage for Yada. Now it's up to Woo! his last interaction. Oh, one more. You forgot that the heavy is coming right back for you. My God, those shots are devastating, especially when you don't see him off screen. 2D does get punished. The left right mix breaking ankles on Shampoo Goblin here. Yada, send help. We're seeing Stop. some nasty mix going on here. I mean, it's building up burst, but now finally Shampoo Goblin opts to use it. The fast PRC right out of the Pineberry. Puts your back to the wall, but still keeps the pressure on with the fuzzy. That was crazy. Oh, Rekka drops. That's okay, though. He's still maintaining pressure. YRC does connect. Back dash is the pop buster and gets a far slash punish. Not able to fall soon to the wall, but the 5k will seal the deal. A 3-1 victory for Yada on Elfel. As well, you know, one of these one of these characters that I think is really eating after a lot of these uh, most yeah. recent patch changes. WWA, the White Wild Assault coming up huge, and Gold Lewis himself getting a few pops as well. Yeah, Gold so, Lewis is definitely the character that shines, I feel like, in this patch. Um, again, like, for players that look at Potemkin, like, this is essentially what Potemkin wants to evolve into after a couple more patches here for Gold uh -huh. Lewis. Just the perfect vision of Jesus Christ. I, I can't. Every time I see it, it's a, it's a jump scare. Yeah, exactly. The White Wild Assault from downtown. No burst for Kribby, but not so good. You're not taking a ton of damage just yet. You got to be careful of the stain state, but opting instead of being afraid, just keeping the offense oh. mounting here so that Tipper Guy doesn't even have an opportunity to pop it. Good interrupt there with the 5P. We got our teleport with thanks to the stain that we had sent out. Nice. Ariel Reaper came through in the clutch there for Simpukai. And I yep. like the Zona game overhead. Let's call it out with Arbor sign. Yeah, I like the high growth uh, keeping you locked down, but no, this Grave Reaper is not gonna find its mark. We're just gonna super down with the system all the way through. Goodness, so the white wild assault right there. And that's the thing. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh nice reversal super! I was literally just about to say, the lesson we learned for the last game was to watch your opponent's resources. And right here, another perfect example for both players to pay attention to those resources. Exactly, you gotta be careful of that 50. Even if it doesn't kill you, it is such a momentum swap. Especially mm -hmm. if you're starting your pressure and you have to make your way in once again, Simpukai just keeping the offense on. bonus build. We got a little bit more damage with that Arbiter sign on top of it. Okay, run up for the low Arbiter. No, but with the stain proc after, you gotta be ready for that far slash Simpukai. Yes. Puts the first game on with the perfect. Now that chandelier is swinging. That's just a, a single behemoth typhoon will shake the entire house. That's why it's not decorated. We don't want anything to fall over. Exactly. There are some uh, there are some battles and brawls going on here. We don't want to over decorate it just for the house to come on tumbling down. So that's why we haven't had a chance to decorate just yet. But we do have a chance to head into game number two here. Kribby, I don't know. Just feels like they're having a hard time trying to make their way in here. And even when they do, their pressure just isn't enough to open up Simpaga. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely terrifying to Jeez, that teleport was beautiful from Simpukai, but it's so terrifying that you have this threat that is Behemoth Typhoon and you earned that corner position and yet Simpukai is just another day in the office in these corners and is finding a way out. Nice 2 p or another Grave Reaper to follow up below. Big charge, Stain State got the pickup, will shatter for this one. Yeah, and you can see the respect that Kirby is giving Simpukai, right? Knows that they're able to keep you locked down in the corner, so lets them get away with a fully charged Grave Reaper, and that's even more plus frames that you gotta handle. But using the 50 for the laser, is it gonna work out? Cross up JK does not find its mark, but at least you have the corner. All you needed, just barely needed to chip out that last bit of health here. Another round for Simpukai. Six piece, keep you honest here, stained up. You can't wall the salt from that distance, no sir. Oh. But you're Simpakai's navigation of the screen is absolutely insane in the set right now. Low armor, still keeping Gold Lewis at arm's length here, but will respect Behemoth Typhoon pressure. Has to, one mistake with this risk gauge cranking up could spell disaster. 
2K? Are you kidding me with the PRC after? Yeah, it doesn't quite get you out of the corner, but the scramble afterwards, you're plus enough to try and fight back. Kribi opting to use the white wild assault says no deflect shield. I'm pulling up with the armor. Armor sign once again. Oh, teleport's close. I think we thought we were going for the opposite side, but regardless, 2P is definitely going to interrupt you. Well, this all keeps the pressure on YRC for the tap dust. It's not quite enough to kill Kribby, but the chip off of the Grave Reaper puts a second game on the board for some guy. Wow. It, this is crazy to see. Just, and I feel like this is the perfect vision of Testament. Honestly, like we saw early on that we didn't get that utilization as much with the teleport opportunities from Testament. And honestly, this iteration to your point, like they are also another character that is eating well in this patch version. Uh -huh. um, being one of the more recent characters definitely received quite a bit of changes in that patch list alongside, you know, like Gold Lewis being another one of them. But definitely take a look back at that list because Testament had like a strong list alongside Asuka in this patch. Yeah, he's going for the back or right off of the Behemoth Typhoon. You went for the slowest overhead possible. Stupakai not going to let you get away with it. Now you have to eat the stain corner pressure. Another incredibly plus fully charged Grave Reaper. How are you supposed to escape? 2K2D tried to go for the guard cancel, but was already a mile away. So what's going to be impacted by it? All right, nice block on the cross up here and still got a scoop to Kribby. Jersey forward gets back thrown. Oh, no. Yep. The active defense awareness here from Simfukai. Beautiful 6P. We do have enough to follow up and get the finish. Case Big Stage puts you on that set point. This is scary for Kirby trying to dial up the aggression now, but Simfukai is meeting you exactly where you are, keeping you right at that mid range where they want. And Ande, Ande with a $10 contribution for a half, for a hype potentially last round. Thank you. I'm almost inclined to say that's Andale, Andale, because look at the speed that Simpukai is going through right now in the set. Speed running it right now, wants to get a little bit of that prize pool, and now Kirby has to guess per game. Might be sent to the losers, but blocks the high Arbiter sign. Ooh! That's back. Lead. What? Shut down this drone. What a call out with that RC finish. Simpukai's defense out the set again. Just absolutely immaculate. Lewis, but we got GC Yoshi back up to the stand here, representing the Bedman and Honored Ogre, trying to send him to the loser side with the chip. Okay. Get him go. And already this chip pressure. Definitely something to worry about, but 2P interrupt. Nice patience, and we already got Fireball blasting one more time here. Oh, Marcy, nice burst. Yes, there it is. The error code bought enough time to get that firing off here to get a little bit more space away from Honored Ogre. Okay, JK from the top rope. MT Reco 1 tries to see if GC Yoshi is going to mash out. Nah, but we take to the skies with the quadruple jump P to bring you back down. Here's the overhead. Finds the part. There's no burst opportunity here for GC Yoshi, so we can wrap this up and do. Go. The double alpha blade puts the first round on the board here for Ogre. Nice stand up for me real quick. The jump 2k cross up. Oh my god. Tried to bait out another cross up here, but no. Instead, same side with a J2k. I don't know. GC Yoshi, your defense is pretty good, but in this version, right? Just so much mix available, and Deadman does not have the DP to try and mash on out. Doesn't need a DP. I just need a single opportunity for a 2p, says GC Yoshi, but unfortunately gets tossed up. Yes, that burst will connect. Yep. Green burst. No, but it's not enough to save you just yet. You got to escape the corner, but the tap dust seals your fate for game one. Yeah, that is unfortunate there. I wonder if we kind of waited a little bit more before we ended up spending burst just to make sure we can get to the ground in time before Chip could close the gap immediately after the recovery there because that was tough. Like already, GC Yoshi had to be in a guess situation of did Chip make it underneath me after this burst or are they still... Uh, you know, in front of me, you know, that's a pretty tough call. Mm -hmm. So squirrely, especially off of those scramble oh, situations. It's like, I cannot keep track of where this guy is going. And Ogre really just trying to take advantage of that, right? Utilizing the mobility, yep. even though GC Yoshi nice. is doing a good job of taking to the skies, being tricky with the air dashes. As soon as he lands, constantly keeping him on his toes. Whoa! 
That was a great burst from GC Yoshi because we got that corner position, but right off the rip, honored Ogre with the burst of their own. Nice overdrive. Got that hard knockdown for positive bonus. The wall hard knockdown, waiting for that burst to come back up. It's the cross up air dash from 50 meter behind it. Ogre should be able to kill here. What a kill there from Honored Ogre. Again, relentless, able to spend all resources. Juicy Yoshi already gonna have a, a stick of burst here to play around with in this round, but the 5 p anti here, you thought the jump H was gonna work out, but I'm already crossed under. Oh my god, we've been seeing air stalls from GC Yoshi, right? We saw a little air stall with the Shuriken, but the tap on the dome barely does any damage, and another air stall from GC gets him the positive bonus. Good jump in here. Knock down, stand up for me real quick with that OTG. Ooh. Tried to backdash. That's 2 H uh, catching you all the way across the screen, and GC Yoshi fights back. Right. Nice. Turn for turn here on rounds. GC Yoshi not out of this. Nice. Double Wild Assault follow up here to hold the corner. We're betting that we're going to get this shatter and we succeed. So that's positive bonus to at least build back 50% tension. Of course, or excuse me, uh, burst gauge here. We're not going to quite get that Wild Assault due to some of these changes here, but close enough. They tried to hard bait out the burst, but GC Yoshi holding on says, I know you're going to give me another chance to live, but it's a pretty rough chance when you're stuck in the corner like that. Ogre seals out a second game. Look, I know in this version, they reduced the amount of tent of uh, burst gauge that you build back with positive bonus, but even mm -hmm. still, like that was almost negligible in difference, right? Because traditionally, it would have been, you know, just over that 50% mark prior to this version. And now here we are again, you know, just getting ever closer with just how relentless Chip can be. Building those resources is almost no problem. Yeah, exactly. Just getting so much tension, constantly able to keep up that pressure. Yeah, you're losing a little bit of burst, but as long as you get that 50 up for another wild assault, you got all the RC in the world to keep that pressure going. And again, GCOs, he just back up against the wall. Yeah, I mean, he got to fight off the ropes somehow, some way. We just don't have the resources to do it outside of burst, which we're not going to spend this round because it's too little too late. Plus frames off the Shadow Clone here. The Shatter for the victory. Perfect round for Honored Ogre. Here we go. This could be the last round for GC Yoshi in the winner's side. I don't know. And Chip's constantly just keeping up the offensive. You have another 50. That DP was still so active. It reached all the way to the top rope. All right. Again, tap dust. Got our Shatter. Oh, nice air throw. That is, yep. That's a veteran air throw right there, folks. It's the exit in you, but no, the Strive gonna try and send you over to the loser's side. Ogre keeping it going with the quadruple. 5P not quite able to kill, and GC Yoshi's got a jab of his own. Ooh. A little leggy, the 5K sends you down. Ogre closes it out 3-0. Oh, we'll stall for Lucas, don't tell him anything, but no, we're headed right on into it. The OG versus the anniversary colors, Kyokanon versus Gambolini. Of course, with the Rizzolini tag here on Kai Keys. Let's see what Keo Cannon does. Right, 2D, empty 2D, gives Kimberly mm -hmm. the opportunity to fight on back out of the corner. And with Wild Assault, you're, you're going straight through the wall. Flat Barry, and you're right. They got to reset this whole. This game does not count. They don't even have the uh, right song. Nothing. It's over. Yeah, we got the Wild Assault. Me, personally, I'm a fan, but no, Kyo, not a fan of all the damage they're taking off of that Wild Assault. A Bandit Bringer from the top row brings Ooh. us to the other side. Bring her back to Ash. Let's give another one here. You're not going to anti air for the third one? You're crazy. Red RC fast jump E will open up Scambolini, but living to the namesake, we're just going to go for the stun dipper and scam out this victory with the track it install. Y'all put oh. some respect on Disaster of Passion. That's what I'm saying. It's not a lore accurate song for these two for these two characters, but I still love it. And Grizzlini just running away, loving that Wild Assault, constantly giving them so many opportunities to convert mm. from these mid-screen pokes and also the mid-screen anti as well. Trying to escape with the Bandit Revolver jump. He interrupt on Bandit Bringer. Let's carry, close slash, far to follow up. Oh, no backdash from a Gunflame, though. Meter on the side of Scambolini. Are you going to let it rock? No, we're just showing them. We got that infinite defense here. I say as they get opened up by the low. Uh, I think that was a throw attempt there from Keo. PRC to get the OTG. 
not quite high enough there to get the full follow up there. Yeah, I wonder if we were looking for the 6H off the ground, but either way, Scambolini stuck in the corner once again, but Kyoka Nan pulls up with the counter hit for a second. We I was going to say, you are looking ah. rough on the H gate. No, no back throw needed. That's a head bet to tie yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. All right, good stuff there. I think if we would have went with a single hit bandit, we would have been able to land in time to get the 5K pick up for a full shatter. Could be wrong, but at least we got the kill there. Back dash, far slash, we'll get the punish with Wild Assault. Captain Dome, Ujar just keeps the pressure going here. Backdash yourself into the corner with Bandit Bringer, constantly just going for that backwards movement, looking for a whip from Scambolini. Oh, tap dust. Oh, was waiting for the burst. He saw the jump in perfect time. The Q cannon. Oh my goodness, with the vortex. No, you can't guard cancel what? fast here. Right? You know what? That's actually a mechanic. That's what happened, folks. You can't guard cancel fast here. It's too strong. Bro, no way we saw that triple counter hit. Is it going to be a quadruple? Stuck in the corner. Scambolini finds the 2K2D. You got to be careful. Any DP kills. Very cautious here. Nice back dash. With oh, out with full oh. defense side swap. That's unfortunate here for Scambolini because that should have been the game winning combo. But oh, man, falling out was such a blunder there. Unfortunate. Keo Cannon getting up on the skin of their teeth and what should have been knocking at death's door in that round. Quite literally, Scambolini had the victory there. Yeah, you leveraged the faultless defense, but the offense looking a little more fault ridden. That is so unfortunate. I think we saw a miss input maybe just a little bit too early on trying to confirm from the air to ground, but man, that is a heartbreaker for Scambolini. You were running away with a lot of those rounds, but Kyokunon, once they're able to fight their way back out of the corner, built up some resources from being hit, and they're cashing out on so much damage with the meter in the bank. Yes, indeed. Okay, yes. Nice little air to air. Puts you in the mm -hmm. corner. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, Keo. Well, you, know, you, you can dash too. forward, right? There's a dash button. If you're not sure about dashing forward, that's totally not messing. That was actually insane reaction time. Six, oh eight. God. Stop no. it, Keo. A good round. I'll see you in the next one, Scambo. This one doesn't kill, but it does kill the mental RC up. Nah, just go right on under. This should be able to break the walls. J2, I don't know if you know this, but Soul Bad Guy is quite literally one of my favorite fighting game characters. <laughs> I can see why, right? You see that counter hit slowdown. You see the big faff there. The amazing 5H in all of its glory. But no, Scambolini is not oh. out of this one. All right, Fudre Arc does connect here. That's a good grip of damage here for uh, Scambolini. Yep. Ooh. The counter hit on the far slash brings us over to the corner. No! Mm. I, hey, I imagine you're looking for the safe job set up there, but ah. what happened? Close slash, still not your turn. It's such a risk to try to challenge a soul bad guy barreling down your throat there. Holy cow. Uh-huh, just keeping the pressure going. How are you supposed to escape? You have the 100 meter burst on deck, but you tried to hold on to the defense, and Kyo just grabs you by the scruff and puts another game on the board. There is something spectacular about Central American soul players. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It. Mike's tapping over there. He's like, hell yeah, brother. Show them the aggression that we can put on just constantly mental stacking, right? Or just yeah. keeping you on your toes, right? Maybe not even mental stack, just... Man, this guy is running at me every single time. He is not That's afraid of getting counter hit out of his vortex, and he's going to represent it time that, after time. Yeah, I mean, that is the thing, right? You see Kyo coming and say, hey, Kyo, you're literally a touch away from death. Do you know that? Said, I don't understand those words. I'm still pressing. <laughs> exactly. If I got health in the bank, that means I can do whatever I want. Whatever tools I got on my character in the game number three here. Again, a big counter hit. No, oh, but again, with these drops from Scambolini, just not able to confirm. Go for fast here, and here. Come on now. It almost worked before though, so I don't blame you. Ooh, cross rates up a 6k. Now nah, but Kyo Kanan tries to bandit bring her out of the corner, but Scambolini playing perfectly right out of the range. Yeah, I mean that was a tough situation there because he had shock state of plot. You had shock state apply, so it was very tough to try to fight out of that corner. And again, Bandit Bringer's a nice one because you can go for the jump out and another angle dive. But man, Scambolini. Immediate burst after 2D. The Vortex too far for a punish. 
Flame Gunplay, but no, the jump over JS brings us over to the other side. I like the fast RC from Scambo, but that, that last ender on the Stun Dipper means that you don't get quite the knockdown you're looking for. Oh no, that was Wild Assault right there. Not Wild Assault, Wild Throw. And still got DP. Unfortunate that this Bandit Revolver gonna get punished. Tap Dust for the finish. All right, Scambolini putting a game on the board. Yeah, still in this. I think we're still seeing a few uncharacteristic drops. Maybe it's nerves. I don't know. But Scambolini still able to put a game on the board. Might be able to bring it back here. Kyokanon, though, just really keeping the aggression on. I wonder uh, I wonder what the changeup has been. I think Scambolini is trying to meet him where he's at rather than try and play <laughs> so defensive and try and react every single time. He's like, you know, maybe I can afford to crank it up too. Right, like I almost feel like that's how you try to contend with a player at this level right now, of just this yeah. mental state of, I have to be the aggressor. All right, so I have to hit pound for pound the exact same aggression that you're hitting me with just to try to keep up alone because trying to play these defensive options, Kyo is pressing like mad. We've seen a couple instances where we go from fuzzy uh, situations with Red RC, fast JP, and look, it's still, you have to expect that a reversal opportunity is going to come from Kyo no matter what. Reversing that momentum here. Finally finds the 6P out of the corner. Deflect shield on the charge. Dust. Yeah. Oh, come on. It was a very good situation right there. It goes from me 5K because you're able to cover in time on your opponent's wake up there. And that did open up this opportunity for Scambolini here. Right, Shot. The help loss from Yokan on. Damn, the counter hit. Fuja arc from the top rope. Scambolini does not drop these. Another round on the board. And that's the adjustment that we're seeing in this set right now from Scambolini. In the corner situation, Keo has time and time again gone for Bandit Bringer. Going for Fudre Arc there is a great call, but let me see the scruff of your neck and scoop you over to the corner. Yeah, I like the fuzzy back over there. Just waiting. There's no follow up. All good by me. Gets the corner pressure, but still down 50%. Any hit from Kyokan on them. The fast RC into the low. I was not ready for that one. Mm -mm. A couple knocks at the door, full shatter with the Bandit Revolver. One more chance here for Scambolini. Knock, knock, no one's home. Break on through the windows. Kyokanon could be one round away, but that is a huge drop. And Scambolini, oh man, there was no way for you to know that that was going to be a drop, but that is still 100 burst down. Baraclat, that, that, you know what that was. You know what that was, Jason. That was not just a 5k. <laughs> nah. We were looking for something a little crazier. That bandit bringer to get out of the corner, but no, PRC into the DP. But still, up in the corner here. Scambolini, no burst to your name. Yeah, that, oh, and again, that's another whiffed wild throw opportunity, and Scambolini is still able to get a DP out. I mean, Kyo is at least making the right call, just a frame or two too far away to actually catch that wild assault, or excuse me, wild throw. And now yep. the punish opportunity that you're getting here. Scambolini about to take it. 6H will get interrupted. 5K kill from Scambolini. Oh my god. And I think that's an interesting choice there, not to go for the Wild Assault wall break, because you're thinking, oh, why wouldn't you want to go for the hard knockdown? I think we were seeing the meter on the side of Kyokanon, and you didn't want to autopilot into the hard knockdown, safe jump, and then be all up in Kyokanon's face. Instead, because we had to go, or because we opted to go for the normal wall break, you still had a little bit left for a Wild Assault off of a stray far slash, but you also had enough time to react to the 6 HPRC. Yeah. Right, well, it seems like you fight fire with fire in this set, and Scambolini trying to keep up here with Keo Cannon. Last chance opportunity to survive on Winter's side, and the Bandit Bringer to start things off. Ooh, run up right up on you, catches out the back dash with the close slash. No burst for Kyo Kanan here, and a big counter hit. Oh, it gets a side swap, but no confirm. No, no hard knock down too far for that one. That's interesting. Had to go for the stun dipper there. Nice back throw. This pressure continues. Pe Yo. <laughs> Locked oh. from all the way over there. The DP just for a little style points. To close out that round. This is set point for Scambolini now. Like the shallow arc. Yeah, what? Edge, what? Keep you at bay. Nah, we're just fighting on through. Why? Why did I did I wasn't anywhere near you. You threw a DP. What? Every time I get so shocked with how far you're able to break the wall there, but Scambolini pulls up for the safe kick. See, all right, he's dashing. It is a thing. 
That's all can do. You don't have to move with specials. They're really good, but you don't have to move with them. You can run. Load it yeah. on into it, the green and black. Let's see it. Yo, the Xbox colors here. Out to lock it down. Pretty sure that is actually the Xbox colors. That's why they have it. Oh, uh, I see, I see. Oh, this all straight to the wall for the hard knockdown here. Nice. Got this setup here. And that is such risky business against Leo, right? Because Leo doesn't have that DP input, as we all know, that quick flash kick. So a left right to Leo is just nonsense. I just have to crank up my flash kick all the more harder. Alright, crank up the left shaker. Put you at that awkward spacing right up to the block string. Is he gonna dash up? Is he gonna try and swing? No, oh, but Mayu just running away with it. There we go, full burst. Do we go for the wild assault? No, instead we opt to keep the corner and it's same side, no cross up. Ball to salt the pressure of the corner. What is Leo? A gorilla? I see over there in the chat. You know, in a literal sense, no. He's a very well revered, you know, officer over here in the Guilty Gear world. But playstyle wise, MFCR is known to play a little wild here. Oh. And letting it rock with a hundred meter, you might as well, right? You got the super, you got the RC behind it, and that is gonna close out game number one. You call Leo a gorilla, you just saw the Keo match? Are you serious? I'm, you know, there's there's play style, and then there's character, and then there's lore. Sometimes these things line up, sometimes there's a little bit of contrast, but that's the spice of life, right, Zero? I won't have y'all disrespecting Endeavor like this on this stream, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. Whenever I see a prominence burn pull up from Leo in this match, I exactly. want to hear it, okay? Yep. Oh, okay, that's nice. such a cool animation. You are right, but NFCR looking cool. Looking easy as we head into game number two. He's he's big chilling. Yeah, absolutely. Being able to steal back turns again. Like, oh, she's just run up throw. Brave stuff and already assuming the position is MFCR. Like, go on ahead. Try me. I will rip a flash kick before you know it. Nice jump slash here. Almost at the 5k pickup after. Just dropped a little bit early. Ooh. Got one over with the Capel. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it swaps up the corner situation. I say as MFCR finds the hit, able to go into back turn, and Mayu opts to use the burst to keep that corner. Just that close slash, burst in. Won't get the shatter. It, yo, any lesser individual fell for that one. I fell for that. <laughs> the dash up hair car is devastating. Back with an RC, though, so that's a, you know, a nice chance opportunity there for Mayun. Nice overhead Ooh. opener. Else. Yeah, we got a little greedy with the early Lush Shaker cancel into the 2P, right? Before we were seeing them constantly just use it, you know, push you out to that uh, safe spacing, but now trying to take their turns off, and I wonder if we're going to see some DPs rock from MFCR there. 5k pickup for the Shatter, Wild Assault to guarantee that hard knockdown. Strong life lead, and strips also the burst by doing so. So this is a great call from MSCR to maintain control after this next knockdown to guarantee that they were going to get the round. Ready 2K. No, you tried to go for the space hold 2K in place, but not. Nah, instead, it works out this time. Catches out the Berserker Slash, and MFCR has to hold this disc Oki now. Yo. Hell shatter. We take to the heavens above. Yep, the super builds up a lot of burst, but once you're already at the 100, it doesn't matter if you build up any extra run up for the close slash. Caught out with the far S. Side swap, nice overhead. No bursting yet, there it is. Damn. All right, back turn blender. This is scary, beautiful block in the overhead, but now you have to hold this guard break. It's a cross up again, Ooh. NFCR, which way are we looking? And finally, Gets the kill with the JP. I was scared we were going to drop there. Yeah. I got to be honest, but clutches it out. It, you definitely saw that moment of hesitation and understanding that, wait, how can I get you down from here? Hold on. <laughs> right. Let me look through the arsenal real quick because you're a little bit taller than I was expecting here. The 2H normally being the shatter pick for MSCR. So great decision to go for that jump B because sometimes before that slash hits up, we've seen players fall to that situation. That is how it goes. And I think it's interesting that we're seeing good techniques from Mayun, you know, kind of swapping it up on the offense, trying to take their turn, be a little greedy, and then also catch people out as well, you know, when they're trying to take that turn back. 
but still, you know, MFCR just keeping the aggression turned up 100% so that even when they're on the back foot, yeah, they get hit here and there, but still finding their way to fight back out of the pressure. Yes, indeed. About to lock it in one more time here, potentially. 2-0 lead for MFCR. Ready, let's see it. Are we taking a break here? Just taking a second to breathe before that third game. I get it. I get it. Now, MFCR is off the sticks. First... It was Mayun. Oh, see, so we're mm -hmm. changing flags. We're changing flags. Ah, uh, there we go. Deserve, deserve. You got to make sure it's all good, all accurate when you're representing the crazy mm -hmm. gameplay over here on the stream. I understand. And also, I understand that if I check over to the match arena, we got one code remaining. Guys, we got That's 800 of you. Clear that out. And if you're feeling even a little more generous, we also got the direct contribution and the Twitch quests over there on the side while we head into game number three. I was realizing now I'd win is the uh, tag here for OCR. Now I'd win is godlike. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Am I spoiled on I crucial plot points of certain anime and manga? Maybe a little bit. But you know what? The meme is so widespread now that NFCR might go and claim it. There we go. Claiming 50% HP already. Plus the first phase. This is trouble for Mayun. Okay, 2D attempt. We try to get a dash up real quick. I think a 5k attempt there. And yes, of course, overdrive reversal. We'll get the punish. Red RC for a... F oh, it. Okay. All right. Right. Two, two. Round. We'll call that down. point for MFDR. And you close it out. Yeah, Mayun trying to come down, waiting out for that backwards movement and immediately getting the counter hit far slash. Slam. Too far for Lush Shaker pressure, but close enough for a close slash there. Nice throw reaction, but it's going to be same side. We're not putting MFCR back in the corner. Good defense, a bad move from MFCR. Counter hit to Age into the Mirage. That's going to be a lot of damage here on the side of Ayun, but yeah, mm -hmm. has to use the burst. That means you're even farther away from a uh, defensive burst if MFCR is able to fight his way back out with a 50 meter. Look at the hesitation from Mayun right there. Just barely like, I want to poke, but I'm so scared of your reaction timing right now that I don't want to overextend too much here. Ooh, overhead connects. There we go, good finish from Mayun. Right up on the rounds here. Still set point for MFCR. Tries to go for the 5k. Little wave right in front of your face. Just waits on through, but back up against the wall. Reverse, hold the position, reversal. There, Not sure what came out there, but the far slash did interrupt it here from MFCR. Yes, OTG super. Yep. Off of the Kill. slide. That's going to be enough. The windshield wipers, the helicopter blades. MFCR seals it out 3-0. This is going to be the Nine Moons team kill, right? Both of them representing very different play styles right now. Rat trying to pull up. Immediately start that rush down. Maybe try to go for a burst bait there, falling through, but uh, Revy still finds the burst to put Rat into the corner. Yeah, Rat, of course, the one that is slick with the movement, always squirrely, just like yeah, you see it right there, just like the namesake. 2K 2D knocked out with the ring setup to hold this corner. Bat Moon, no block from Revy. Ooh, tries to go for the back dash here, but does get caught up by the delay. 2K off of the empty jump in. Remy looking worse for wear on HP. Good shatter here. And it's so hard to lock down Rat, especially if you're Axel low here. There's very specific instances that Axel wants to try to challenge. You have to try to be a little more preemptive against Melia here. Traditionally, that's how Axel kind of zones out, right? But even more so against someone as speedy as Melia. Speedy indeed, already running us over to the other corner. I mean, opts to use the burst early, right? Not a lot of health loss, and that's a full charge tornado on the Oki. Okay. Nice Capel to keep you locked down in that corner. Dash up, cold slash. Finding the mark here again, but not able to get the RC we're looking for. We wanted red, but it was too little, too late, so we got the purple. Patience on the approach here from Rat. Take this guy, air dash back, air dash forward, no catch from Remy. Tries to go for the Rainwater, has the PRC to stay safe. Yeah, I really Ooh. dig that PRC opportunity right there. That was a quick eject, dash up, close slash. Rat is only one hit away here, but uh, Remy's last definitely going to be in trouble after this wild assault, both of them in the exact same predicament. Run up, kill with the 2H. That is the first game for Rat, but that last round so down to the wire. 
Yeah, absolutely. But cool, calm, and collected seemed rat, especially after that final knockdown interaction was still able to open up Remy. And I think that's the message that you get throughout that first game is that I've been able to consistently open up my opponent. So if I do get knocked out here, this next neutral interaction is still mine. That bad moon has been hitting the mark time and time again for rat. And that's gotta be something that Remy's looking out for at this point. Yeah, exactly. Looking into this game number two, how am I going to be able to stop this approach here? Tries to go for a preemptive 5k. Nothing too risky. That does stop the immediate approach, but no running up with a close slash. Nice Ren Sen to H. Tries to slow things down again. It's that preemptive decision making that Remy has to make that I was talking about. That 2H takes a bit of start up with the shatter. Nice forward tech though from Remy. That 2H takes a bit of start up here from Axel. Close slash anti air. Tornado set up. We got the ring one set up right back again. All right, Herakar RC bringing us all the way over to the other side. The corner carry on that Mirage just is so huge. Rat breaks the wall with a compel. This is a one touch for Remy as soon as you get that RC back up. 2K. Nice trip guard situation there from Remy. SBRC to yeah. slow things down. Guaranteed. I actually really did this tornado set up. Okay. Yeah, right. It reaches so high that it really forces Rats to use a lot of their air options just to try and get out, but no, off of the RC, still gets caught out by Remy. That was an immaculate opportunity there to go for the Axel Bomber, just barely putting Rat into that burst range. Immediate burst from Rat, though. Assault forward, tries to keep the pressure on Rat. No burst to his name here. Remy gonna cash out in some Axel Bomber action. No, we were blocking, but for whatever reason, it seemed like we just let go there. Perfect round for Remy. Yeah, I like the deep run in with the delay media to try and catch out any, you know, fuzzy jump or fuzzy back dash attempt. Rat just held on to the corner, but I really do wonder what they got hit by. It wasn't yeah. counter hit, but maybe exactly. it caught out in a jump attempt. Yeah, you know what? That's probably what ended up happening. We wanted to try to escape out of that corner, but just yeah. didn't recognize the rainwater fall through. All right, we got to set on our hands here, tied mm -hmm. up 1-1. One, one. Seemed like Rat was running away with it before, and I can imagine for Axel, this is a matchup that can feel very difficult. You have a lot of moves that can cover uh, a lot of spaces on the screen super well, but you have to commit right. and lose a lot of tempo if you're wrong. But especially with the reward that you get, the safe enders off of the tornado to keep her locked down, you know, definitely something that helps the matchup now. I think. Exactly, exactly. And the other thing we have to think about too is that these two have likely played each other many times. I mean, oh yeah. Nine moons withstanding, these two have running to each other multiple times throughout the TNS bracket. So we're starting oh, yeah. to see different layers that we normally wouldn't see in a traditional matchup like this. Jump. Oh, actually that was Jump P interrupt there. Nice. Not usually yeah, used right. to seeing that from Axel. Yeah, pretty curious. Has a decent amount of range, but I guess Remy instead looking for the air to air here says, nah, I know you're taking to the skies. Let me bring you back down, but bring you over to the other side. Almost a hundred meter on both sides. It's about to be explosive yeah. on this first hit. Yeah, honestly, I do think that it's important to go for that jump in the air to air because, yes, Axel has some nice anti air tools, but at the speed at which Milia travels, it's hard to kind of lock down preemptively for 3k, for example. Uh, but yeah, already a troublesome situation. 100 meter already spent from Rat, and this red RC finish for Remy. Red RC, the orange Axel bomber, all the explosives on the screen right now. Remy trying to break this tie. Ooh, again, another trip guard, like you said, right? That low profile 2K, so tricky for catching that landing recovery. Oh, sides, but the jump heavy wasn't ready for it, was caught walking forward. And that happened again, too. Has to be so careful. Remy getting opened up, Ariel. No, that, uh, I'm not sure. Ooh, all right, 2H to try and hold that space. Preemptive Rainwaters, but no, Rat takes the opportunity with all the tempo to RC. That's the disc, but Remy knows that's not real. It just runs on through. All right. Been heavy. Able to get enough time to get that close slash pickup with the hair car. Oh, way. Nice. And good call for Wild Assault. We strip on burst just a little bit longer. Ooh, I like the reaction to the deflect shield as well. Could have run in and potentially gotten whiff punished by Remy, but no. Just holds on. Returns to the neutral as we're able to break the wall here, tying it up. Round for round, game for game. So great to watch here. You see, and there's that 3K. Like I was telling you, that anti-air, it's there, but it has to be so preempted that you know the opponent's doing it. Let's look at how Rat can navigate across it with Capel. 
Yeah, man, that 2S, it's so committal, it reaches so high to the sky, which is something that you really need against Milia, right? When she can absolutely access so high right above your head. But no, Rat just staying right up in your face. The fake cross-up on the other side. Dude, your back is to the wall, but you have so much health, that's not a big issue. Fuck it, with throw PRC to eject out of the situation. There we go. Another far slash here. Oh, almost had to jump back heavy. Pick up right there to get the finish. Flashing on through the skies. Rat puts another game on the board here. 2-1. Right here, fighting for your lives. Remy taking a second here. That second game, it felt like you were able to, you know, meet Rat where he was a little bit, but now we're swapping through layer two, layer three. Let's see if you're able to keep up with the adaptations. You're heading into game number four. Yeah, I mean, Rat, again, just navigating the screen space is very important here against Remy Celeste because we are catching Remy overextending on some of these anti-air attempts. This trade, though, working out in favor of Remy here to go for tornado setup. Pell bring us all the way over to the other side. Beautiful pickup with a close slash. Corner to corner, coast to coast. The rollback connection, but not. Bring yourself back into the corner. Use that first just to stay alive in this round number one. Damn! Run up. Close slash is doing rats so much work right now. Two P interrupt here. Another two S, of course. Go for the anti-air. And nice. Got the PRC. Let's get that scoop. Ooh, tried to go air dash back, but Rat low profiling with the early 2P. Instead, going right under that air button. Now you're on set point. Yes. Jump back. Another jump P here. You know, again, just clearing as opposed to just uh, going for that 5P. You know, while falling, jump P is actually just as effective because of the range. It gives a full stop to the opponent. 2H push back. Guess the 2S right there. Going for the dash blocks, I agree. Just play a little safe to try and get that space back while Remy has no burst available. Page. Yep, playing squirrely. Right. BRC yourself right into the rainwater. Tornado, not a whole lot coming out of there. Especially since Rat doesn't have any resources outside of burst. We're just going to take this round here. Yeah, I think it's a 50-50 whether or not you try and seal it out there or you try and save it for the next round. But Rat's still up a game, right? So he's not trying to panic too hard here. Exactly. The way that Rat plays, I think it's a fair call to just hold on to this burst for the next round. Especially yep. this entire set, Rat probably is keeping into account how many times they've opened up Remy Slash. Yo, oh my god. The RC up, mixed fastball into the Capel. Dude, my <laughs> ankles are broken, and that HP is looking so worse for where Remy could be one hit away from being sent down to the loser side. Nice cross under back and forth. Remy Celeste here. Take to the skies. Goes for the guard cancel. It's not going to work out here. Yeah. Hard call out on the deflect shield. But no. Air dash back, air dash forward. The JH helicopter. Closes it out 3-1 for a rat. Go for these teleports. Uh, but MFCR definitely going to be the aggressor in this matchup here. I'm very curious to see if Simfukai can kind of keep that space differential here, just like they did in the previous set. Killer forcing out the burst here. Simfukai does not want to have to eat that back turn mix. I agree. And now we're even at the 50% meter, trying to play this keep away as MFCR dash blocks for his life. Stained up back to back. Yeah, you gotta worry about that extra hit too, because look at Simpukai reapplying stain every single time they spend it. You're forcing block situations. Got a little bit too close here to hold up this flash kick. Great call out here from MSCR for that hard knockdown. Tap on the door, 5P, the take throw pressure here. It's a close slash 100 meter on the board. Simpukai, you are not living this one. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, Sipikai was definitely putting in a lot of work with that zoning game. And unfortunately, that Wild Assault strip was the deal breaker to try to escape and reset the opportunity for, um, you know, to continue in that zoning game. Got our burst back. Nice stain application here. A couple Arbiter signs, but the big jump heavy here from MSCR. Lock down in the corner. Back turn S runs up for the low and with RC behind it, MFCR uses the windshield wipers to close out game number one.
Yeah, I, just the explosivity of uh, Leo is definitely on display here. Because, again, just nothing but bullet hell from Symphica in that initial corner interaction. And all it took was just one mistake of getting just a smidge too close to the range of Leo Whitefang to end up going down. That's how it goes, right? You're trying to play that mid-range, you're trying to play that keep away, and we were seeing a lot of success from it from Simpakai, you know, just stuck, trying to be so respectful of that stain state, but as soon as you're able to weasel your way in, get that first hit, the back turn stance, I feel like it's so hard for Testament to try and get out of. Yeah, I'll cross through, wasn't ready for it. The overhead blesses the dome. Yeah, all right, we got our burst. Great uh, patience there from Simpakai to try to hold that corner position, but that, again, Relentless aggression from MFCR. Seemingly impossible to stop. Yeah, another hard knockdown. About to build a 50 behind it. BRC for more mixes than you can count. Oh my god, the cross through into walk through, and it's all gapless, or at least hard to try and interrupt the BRC slowdown. Okay, nice 6P. Blast through that stain state. Turbulence. No wall of salt there at all, just to go for hard knockdown. Didn't spend on overdrive, but that positive bonus pushes us pretty close to 100 tension. Woo, nice. Far reach. Able to get the stain applied. We're back into that zoning cycle, but be careful your spacing here. Yeah, you gotta be careful. It's so easy to want to autopilot here, but we're seeing Sipakai just look so diligently at how MFCR is trying to approach putting in these micro delays and just barely catching you out of that dash block. When y'all get the opportunity to watch this bot, rewatch that sequence in slow motion, frame by frame, you'll notice yep. that there was not only just micro stepping from MFCR, but there was actually micro stepping from Simfukai to increase the rate of block timing on those Grave Reapers and also applying stain on our pack. That was key to locking down MFCR to call out Ooh. this situation here for a future setup that we're seeing now. Yeah, these partial charges is giving you a little bit more extra frame advantage. There we go. The RC closes it out. Enough meter in the bank to close it out with a super. Yeah, very great conditioning there from uh, Simfukai, honestly. Like, that was such a good adjustment compared to the initial uh, pressure that we saw with that first zoning game, right? We knew yeah. that MFCR was actually able to try to challenge that pressure anyways and we saw that msr playing that tug of war in the corner to try to get closer and closer to get within that range and since the guy got hit once all it took was like let me make that small adjustment to amp the speed of my pressure and that throws off timing for msr Exactly. Sometimes you got to go for the greedy pressure reset, but no, instead, MFCR says, I am willing to spend the double wild assault because my win con is putting you into this back turn. I know I am confident in building up the RC, getting the hard knockdown and positive bonus, just keeping this pressure on, but I need to get that first opportunity. If I have Simpakai bring me over back to the corner by being a little too passive round start, that's when I can get checkmated. Absolutely. Already got our shatter. We'll get this round. Prominence burn to finish it. There we go. Little flame pillar. What's around on the board for NFCR once again? Just trying to keep the aggression dialed up to 100 Ooh. here. Yeah, that's going to be a meaty overhead, too. Great Reaper here. Allowing for that opportunity to dash up, make a teleport chain. Yep. Dash up into the stain stake. Keep it applied. A little bit of lockdown in the corner. Finally sees the 6P off of the anti air. And MCR really has tried to just be going for these safe nice. dash blocks. And the one time they take to the skies, Super Guy's ah! ready. No! A little late on the Super. Well, yep, great 6P call that will interrupt the aerial Grave Reaper. Nice sequence here. Again, Super Guy just cycling through all zoning options. It's always going for Grave Reaper, Arbor Sign, high or low, but also has stain to follow up so that we can reapply the stain and burst and then continue the block string as Simfukai gets a little bit closer and closer. A whiff flash kick will seal the deal here. Simfukai taking a round, tying it up. Yeah, Simfukai showing the back dash on the back turn mix as well, just showing that you have to, you know, look for some of these delays so that they can't just escape. Big counter hits on both sides, but Simfukai does not have the burst up just yet to escape. Strong life leap here for MCR. 
Tries to go for a teleport swap to gain a little bit more room, but just like that, MFCR able to close the gap, burst away. Ooh, H projectile Ooh. going right on through the Grave Reaper, but you teleport out, just barely able to stay alive here. This could be the checkmate that you're looking for, but MFCR looking for any opportunity to fight back. That dash up 6B gets caught out with another state state. That was very tricky timing right there from Simple Guy. Tap does, does it get connected, but that 2K 2D certainly does. And that is a game for Simpukai 2-1 lead. Yeah, he can get EVs. Deals out that last round. And it's like we were saying, right? MFCR feels the need to pull up and be super aggressive because every time Simpukai has that stained state applied, the extra succubus, and now you have to guess, are they going to go for a TP to reset pressure? Are they going to try and delay their far slash or, you know, even walk back to stay out of range of my DP? Like, what am I supposed to do between rotating dash blocking DP and just holding down back? Yes, indeed. Let's yeah, that's so forward. that is so scary having a Leo hold down back. It's just like at any given moment, that's uh -huh. that's a trigger ready to be pulled. And just like you pulled the trigger on the raid, GC Yoshi, thank you so very much, and thank you for joining us tonight here on Tampa Never Sleep. Yep, raiding on over with the 44, sending some love to Simpa Guy, the Testament. Okay, okay. Apply no, but clears it right off of the back or the uh, berserker slash rather. Berserker slash is right on over, keeps the corner. No, tries to go for a uh, stancel into super. I assume. State, state applied, so he had to respect this for a little bit longer. The clash. Oh no. No pick up off the back turn S, but it's all good. We got 5K to seal it out. CR really trying to close this out here so we can tie it up in games. Jump on through, gets caught out with the 6H, or 6B rather. Circus Slash all the way through, meaty overhead. 2S, draw the line here. Nice 2P out though. Great Reaper on the ground, apply the state stay. Try not to be too. Fancy with it though, because you know that MSCR has represented the VP to get that stain state right off of you. Pulls up. Oh. No, but caught in the PRC slowdown. All right, this will wrap up the round here. Tying it up, but the difference being, of course, Simfu Kai is on match point. Look at these plus frames. 6P does not get the answer, but at least keeps you locked down for another stain state apply. Yes back 6p again to hold the stain nice sneaking in the throw yep, like this again holding on with the stain state oh, finally finds the jump out here mfcr back out to the mid screen waiting for the 50. that's a 2s startup right there that traded for simpukai still has a substantial lead but with that risk gauge cranked up anything's possible nice back throw safe jump to try to bait out a flash kick here from mfcr on through, reapply the stain state. This is scary for MFCR, right? Any stain apply should be able to kill, and you might not build up first in time for it either. Yeah, and the other scare that we're looking for is the resource gain from ooh, MFCR. On tension is not going to be a factor here. 3 1 victory for Simpukai over MFCR. Counter hits, it's going to be very scary, and you do not have a lot of room for error. Yeah, that, that is so true. And uh, I feel like if you're still chip in this iteration of the game, you're very well used to the risks. I mean, they all play on a razor's edge. There are no slouch to this uh, type of interaction. And just goes to show that immediate burst is all that you need to know about that interaction alone. Double wild assault to pressure to the corner. And just like that, one touch is all that Danny needs to get the kill. God, the damage differential is insane right now, but Danny has a DP of his own. You tried to look for the micro delay, looking for a walk back on the reversal, but no, we just catch you out with the 2K. Our slash, I dare you. You see the sword has the reach. Nice food for art carry. I can't, I can't damage output on chip. Poor chip. Yeah, no, show it on someone who's not chip. Nah, that's something we don't have to worry about right now. That low health really not doing Autodoger any favors, but crosses right over. I don't know if that's exactly what you're looking for, and I don't think you recover in time. What? Oh, you Danny definitely did not believe. 
Oh, okay. I saw the I see, hands I up. I see, I see. There we go. Got another pickup here, but yeah, that small blunder is going to turn into you know, a happy axis. We still got the shatter on the other side, still got our positive bonus. And also, as an additional benefit, Danny spent that 100 tension on trying to get that punish. So it's open season for Honored Ogre in this corner right now. Yeah, now we spent 100 tension 50 burst to try and open up Danny, but the yeah. onslaught still able to survive. Finally, the counter hit comes out from Ogre, but after that, Danny still built up the burst. Okay. Nice tech, holds on to the YRC on top of that, and PRC to course correct to get that 6P. We punish the DP. Great patience from Honored Ogre to pull back on that 5K. God, run up for the 2k, tries to go for the back and forth shimmy, but again, Honored Ogre, you gotta watch your toes. I know you got the sandals, that's not the PPE you need, but the burst might be what you need to start this corner pressure. Nice dash under here from Danny. Kudre Arc, there is no aerial escape. Oh my god, wait a minute. Perfect round here for Danny to clean it up. He killed. That fella died off of the off of the sacred edge. Insane work there. And I mean, it was so back and forth, kind of like the song in the background, right? You know, we just have all these distinct parts. Danny runs away with it, and it's so back and forth. That third round, Danny brings it back. But now Ogre already working through 50% of that HP. Jump back, trying to get a 5P ant here. Unfortunately, too far away. 2H. Dropped it. I think we had just a moment of hesitation on how could I possibly route after this 2 8 this yeah, right. Ooh. Went over okay. to the other side. This is a big counter hit confirmed. It's also going to be the wall break with the Wild Assault. Build back a little burst here for the next round. Good God, DP. Ooh. You know what? That's a fair call out, host. Uh, host Delgado. Danny is unafraid to gamble at all, and that makes him so dangerous. Honestly, so far from what we've seen, Central American players are just not afraid to gamble at all. I mean, you see that, you know, again, like I said, Mike Sastic, we saw from Keo earlier, Danny pulling out all the stops with Kai. I mean, there is a trend in play style here. Yeah, exactly. And one of the things about Danny, right, he has that aggressive play style and is able to confirm off of it so well. But the thing is, he's also able to switch it up with, you know, throwing in just right. a second of passivity, just a second of waiting for you to make your own mistake. But no, he's waiting for an opportunity to get out of this corner right now. Honored Ogre keeps the pressure off, but not long enough. Run under off of Stun Dipper RC. All right. And we <laughs> strip a little bit of that burst there. Yep. And a little bit more, so there's no escape opportunity. Honored Ogre just barely going to build up enough burst to try to escape out of the next hit situation if it did happen, but still able to take a round and live just a little bit longer. Yep, Rekka slide on through. Far slash tries to make your way. No, but Danny is really trying to just put on a hitbox on the screen every single second, but no, Honored Ogre weaves his way through. Yeah, unfortunately, already committed to that double dash back and Honored Ogre was not able to get a whip punish on the throw opportunity that Danny tried to showcase there. Tap dust, does connect. Nice follow-up, calls out the burst even. Oh, okay. just a little bit too far for the far as confirmed, but it's all good. No, never mind. Back against the wall, Danny lets the far slash rock. This is gonna be the dragon install wall break. No way, man. 5K, no hope here, but the DP gives all the hope that Honored Ogre needs. Trying to close it out the command grab. Does that beat or are you going to follow up? That's all right. We are just one touch. All that we need here. But the same could be said for Danny. The single close slash into Ride the Lightning. Still one touch away from both sides. Who's it going to be? Oh, yeah. The no flex way. shield means no. you don't have to hold the high low. But the stun edge from down on high just barely seals out such a close game for Danny. Absolutely insane. I can't believe it. Yeah, I mean, that burst was a very, or not burst rather, but the deflect shield was a very inter interesting call, especially to now that we think about how gold burst works, right? Like it does that positive bonus instead of the, um, you know, just immediate meter gain. Yeah. So it, you have to really like weigh your options, right? Am I just going to push back to try to not block this next situation? Or do I hope that I get enough positive bonus meter to, uh, you know, get another YRC opportunity or even get an overdrive opportunity?
yeah, how risky do you want to play off of the gold mm -hmm. first, right? Do I want to take full advantage and get as much meter as I can off the positive bonus? Or do I just wait it out, get that guaranteed tension here? But there is a lot of tension on Honored Ogre's side, right? This could be the last game of your winner's run here if you're not able to clutch it out against any. All right, so immediately Wild Assault with DP will get called out. Danny will show you exactly how to Wild Assault carry to the corner. Uh-huh. All right, Sacred Edge takes up such a chunk of your life bar, keeps that shock state applied as well. No burst here. Yeah, Honored Ogre is definitely going to hold on to that one. That's a round, and absolutely can say it. Unfortunately, Honored Ogre got guilty here at that round. Uh huh. The pseudo perfect, barely any damage taken on your side, but now Honored Ogre tries to Ooh. fight back with the 6P and says, No, 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 I got to go for the 5P for the one time. Right. Go, rest shoot. From the Atmos experience coming through here on the Shatter. Okay, good tech. Oh, that Rekka catches the overhead, that burst. I think Honored Ogre tried to pull the stops there to not get called out by that burst, but too little, too late. 50% already gone here for Honored Ogre. Yo, 6P in the jump D, baby. Ooh. Out of the corner, tries to make your way over the 2S. Quite enough though, Honored Ogre. Can you close this out? Rekka into Super. It's like season two all over again. High up the round count. On the approach of the 5K here. Gotta play a little slower. Honored Ogre gets caught out with the 6P. That's a throw. That was the startup of DP, unfortunately. Fudre Arc, no escape. Oh, nice chunk test. So much health lost. Then the JH cross up hit on the other side, still able to link it into the Bunky. Ness, I break that wall once again. It doesn't do any damage. We still at least get the jump shuriken, anyways. And here we go. Uh -huh. Ooh, there we go. Cheeky little JH whiff into the throw. Keeps you locked down for just oh, a little no. longer. But 100 meter behind it. Right, lightning. Are we even going to let it rock? No. The Sacred Edge feels it out for Danny. Three. Oh. They, you know, sometimes them's the break, especially when you're trying to bait out the opponent to make a move. It was that backdash that got called out in fighting games because of the information that is so readily available. This is something yeah. that we did not have uh, growing up in fighting games here. Marbello did not have. I did not have. Jatesu, you probably didn't have. I don't know. You uh -huh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, jump on through with the JS. The double backflip from Marvello. Trying to escape the onslaught from Jack. Ah, oh, throwing it to the corner. Yep, we got those plus frames, and this is a great spot to be. Oh my god, never mind. It great was spot a great to be, spot we to say. be in. Yeah, Marvella was looking great, and then suddenly the jump out gun changes the whole entire conversation. Make your way on out, but yeah, there's no gun to jump on out here with no bullets in the chamber. Jack has a decent amount of health, but Marvello trying to keep the pressure on so you can't find any opportunity to reload. But I love the 2P mash RC into the bullet reload. Sometimes one bullet is all you need. The far side, there's a beautiful 2S right there to get the follow up. Of course, you know, Happy Chaos has just an exceptional 2S. Uh, yep when it comes down to it, but no concentration. So it's an opportunity for Marvello. Great reversal. Pressure, nice delay, low Rekka. Oh my God, the car Rekka all the way over from the mid screen says, uh, are you running forward? I think I'm gonna low check you Whoa. with this fast RC. Are we gonna use the burst? Nah, instead we're just gonna... Curious wall tech situation there for Marvello. I don't know if he was ready for that one, but all good. Jack just waiting out the burst. Does not want to let it rock. Nice. Big opportunity here. I mean, we're going to hold on to this burst anyway. Not going to quite kill yet. Marvello without the resources to do so. And I'm not even sure if Wild Assault would have been worth it to finish the kill. Because yep. Maybe it would have been now at this point. Wall here, barely any health on either side. Marvello about to have the 100 available for a super RC. Are we gonna let it rock? Oh, not too sure. The shots come out, and that's the J2K for Jack to put a game on the board. Yeah, it, it's tough. You know, trying to close the gap against Happy Chaos, like Chip is definitely one of those characters that can do it because of the rate of speed at which he can cover ground. Um, but yeah, just that damage output is also gonna be very scary. Again, like Chip, 
no stranger to um, fighting on the razor's edge. I keep talking about that for these chip players here. Uh, but even still, you're trying to hit, go up against somebody that has a hit scan in Heavy Slash with gun on steady aim like Happy Chaos. The set play from Happy Chaos can be devastating. And quite honestly, in a lot of scenarios, Happy Chaos just has that range that can kind of contend with Chip. It makes it very difficult for him to approach. Yeah, exactly. It's easy for us to say, oh, Chip is super fast, so he can make his way in on Happy Chaos's range. But like you're saying, right, Happy Chaos, it's not only that he's able to zone you out and you have to make your way in. You have to contend with a lot of his really good buttons. 2K, 6S, R slash, a lot of these things that can keep you at bay. The resource management can be a lot more difficult going into this uh, most recent patch, where mm -hmm. a lot of times where things were meter positive or at least neutral, now you really have to make the decision, do I want to have these bullets on deck or do I want to confirm, but that is a big whiff, RC. Yeah, that is tough because Jack could keep pulling that trigger there. Nice Deus Ex Machina. Just make that damage differential all the more difficult. It's such a tall mountain to climb here for Marvello. YRC again, another wild assault, so we're not going to get burst back unless if we go for a positive bonus. Yeah, the double walk up, FD flicker just to break right in front of your face, Jack. And lets the first rock, and with all the meter in the world, should be able to kill with the Deus Ex Machina. Yeah, that's tough. Like, it was definitely a bet on offense there to try to push towards that corner to get that positive bonus back. And uh, it just did not pay off quite well for Marbello here. 2K2 knocked down to go right back into this corner situation with delay pressure, but we're still getting pushed out because of faultless defense from Jack. Right, so 2S2H brings us all the way over to the other side. The RC just gets so much corner carry. Not a ton of damage on Jack's HP, but at least you out. You activate positive bonus chip, one of the scariest champions of the game. Mm -hmm. to the wall once again. Wild Assault, all the meter in the world. Marvello just needs one RC Alpha Blade, but no, the back throw. Oh, the BRC drift to get the jump peak. And thank goodness, because that red RC was definitely the check to make sure that Jack wasn't going to burst at that life point. I'm almost positive nobody, except if you're going on ranked right now. Nobody uh -huh. is bursting in that situation. Tournament-wise, you should be okay. All right, sent to the wall once again with the Y Ayana, the 6S with all the shoulder behind it. There we go, that's the whiff Rekka, but no punish from Jack, Ooh. not quite ready for it. Some great interrupt with that 2K there from Jack. All right, stank applied here. Marvella has to contend with the clone, and that's so scary, despite Chip having some of the, the fastest button in the game. Uh, uh -huh. you're still in danger of trying to erase the clone in front of you here because that your single gunshot away from that corner oh. carry. And boom, just like that, the game for Jack, 2-0 lead. Man, that is so scary. Jack, one of those players who's like super tricky with the BRC. A lot of yeah. times they'll try and bait you into looking for that anti-air and then BRC down into the JS before you even have the time to try and look for it. Do I 2H? Do I air grab? No, I'm already shooting the gun in your face. And now you're one game away from potentially being sent down to the loser's side. Yeah, it's tough. You know, this new, uh, not, it's not really new at this point, but at least like the evolution of how we BRC drift with the entire cast has been really fascinating to see. BRC is definitely one of those tools, or at least drift in general, has been very interesting to see evolve over time, becoming a much stronger with punish tool nowadays, and even leaning into opening up the opponent in various ways, like especially with that drift. Yeah. All right, Deus Ex Machina, get all the bullets back in the tank here. Half mm -hmm. concentration, though. I imagine off the positive bonus, we're looking for a way to try and link into that concentration super. No, not quite yet. Yeah, just a little bit too yeah. early. One more hit on the block string. Might have been able to string that into the concentration, but now your back is up against the wall. You have all the resources in the world, though, to seal it out against Marbella for this round. Unless... Yeah. Oh, that'll do here with that Deus Ex Machina. I mean, that was a great way to put pedal to the metal, especially you now see that Marbella recognizes the resource game for Jack and consistently has been pressuring more and more as the resources get lower on Jack's side here. We're talking that concentration. Jack doesn't blunder at all, really, on bullets. He usually has a full clip available. Yeah, exactly. Keeping it frame tight, right? Just wants to keep that resource management up. Maybe it means that they're leading to 
situations where they can't cash out on as much damage as before, but still trying to keep it clean. Nice IBFD buys you a little bit of space here. Ooh. Be too greedy about it though, but Marvello still got 50 behind it for the wall run combo. That's great with the 5P clash and was still able to take advantage of the situation as Marvello. Nice, perfect round here. First combat. Let's see if you can keep up this momentum here. Gamma Blade keeps you locked down in the corner. Jack opts to use the burst and finds the city aim off it too. Quick draw McGraw out here. It will jump out of the corner though. And that clone so scared to deal with, but at least we still have the 5k. Yeah, I mean, what can you do as Chip? You have stank applied, so you kind of have to respect the run up. 2k shows up. It's so difficult to make a decision, but the first. Great call here from Marvello because no concentration is available for Jack. Positive bonus to build it right back up as far as resources go. Now we can continue this corner pressure. Yeah, well, that concentration is down. You had so much time to run the pressure, but still Jack so strong on the defense. It's enough off of the pickup. The gun whip brings you down to the loser's side and Jack moves on 3-0. Happy Chaos in the set. So it'll be interesting to see how time tricks up with Happy Chaos now. But SQ, of course, she's going to be representing that Ramathal and going up against Rat, who is literally a gnat in this matchup. So giant fly swatter from SQ, and already you can see this wall position is deadly for Rat. Ooh. The Rekka here just trying to wait for something. Rat down so low on the HP and SQ has all the meter in the world, right? You're just looking for a Mortimato RC. Time to make yourself out. No, but we just go for back throw. Okay. Oh, oh, dropped a little bit early there, but that's all right. We still got the tap dust after the sword toss here. Strong round for SQ. Yep. Works it out. Snow ahead in the meter and still even on the burst, right? Didn't even need to use any of the wild assault check baits here. And now that we're in round two, you're trying to seal it out as soon as you can with the rock there resets. Opening gambit. SQ was looking for burst. She knew to stop that first initial uh, Rekka series here, the Garo series, and uh, yeah, just was not biting there. Rat finally opening up here. Let's pick up Haircar to come through. Take the heads above for that hard knockdown. Not gonna kill here. Full burst, so that building up a lot of burst gauge is a non-issue. Rat is just looking for the single oh. hit to try and catch you out. The 2k actually caught up the start up on the TK bad move. That is insane. Yeah, that's a great YRC right there. Windshield Wipers has plenty of tension to keep it going. Right, there we go, full concentration. She sent a high sword, which is not a bad call because generally melee players are going to be jumping out of the corner situation, especially when you have so much time to react to a sword toss. But unfortunately, Rat was not going to fall for it. Up the skies here, JD conversions all the way over, tries to go for the shimmy, the walk back, seeing if SQ is mashing, but no, finally finds the counter hit with a 6H. Oh my god, the run up bad move. But the cross under is not what Rat was going to be ready for, and still able to get a pick up here for the game. There we go. Off of that first round, it was really seeming in SQ's favor, right? Like, oh man, how is Milia supposed to make her way in? This Ramathal champion just does so much damage. So scary on the offense with the rock. But mm -hmm. Rat, just keeping it squirrely, you know, taking to the skies and mixing up the approaches every single time, saying, all right, yes, once you able once you're able to have me locked down, it's rough for me, but I'm gonna make it as hard as possible to do so. Absolutely. Duel one. Alrighty, game number two here. Let's see it. The immediate bar slash coming up from Rat to establish that space. It's our burst. Wants out a very different tail than what we saw in that first game. SQ with a strong opening gambit. And Rat able to still maintain that control. Nice Capel. But Bad Moon wasn't ready for it. I mean, who could be at that height? My god. Alright, wow, this all break the wall. SQ down so much HP right now. Low slash, but not committing afterwards. Able to respond to the deflect shield with that delay. Okay, got her. More Tabato. Ties it up in health game. New rock. The meaty rock. Yeah. Nice call out YRC. Immediate. I can't believe it. He's spending the burst. PRC Ooh. is still going to get 6P there. Was it worth it? 
Yeah, I feel like you're going for the PRC to be able to stay safe and trade the 50 meter for the 50. But because you didn't RC down, I don't think you have an option that's fast oh. enough and hits low enough to, you know, already catch out that 6P in motion. I mean, even that burst, right? Like, that was such an interesting timing there. Like, it's such a risk to spend there, but, you know, that's behind you at that point. So you have to spend with all the resources that you have. Sword Toss does work out with that. Tap does to follow. It's, ooh, needy rock time. I got you. Mirage reset nice. into the H disc, but no double jump in the corner. Counter hit JH. It doesn't quite kill Rat. Does put the fear of death on the mind? No, but that's a close slash to reach up to the skies. Another close slash for the Shatter. Wants to make darn sure that overdrive input does find the mark here. All right, plenty of meter. You got to watch out because you know any Ramathal player will be willing to spend it here and doesn't need to outside of the YRC. Good game for SQ. Tying it up 1-1 one, one with the Windshield Wiper. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that was very brave from Rat to make that aggressive approach like that because, you know, we've all been there against a Ramathal player. They're willing to spend Mortal Botto on their wake up, especially in those situations because they already have 100 tension. So they spend that PRC right after, they push you away, reset neutral, but SQ having the patience to wait for that positioning here got YRC in a brilliant spot because then she had corner control right after the YRC. Mm -hmm. Dual one. Sometimes you gotta spend that 50 meter to regain that momentum here. We're trying to get the momentum in the set. One one tied up here. SQ did not want to hold any of that mix. Immediately laying with the burst rock. Oh no. Okay, so we don't have swords for a little bit here. Backdash will get called out by close slash here from Rat and the hair car carry. While the salt punish here, it's a good sequence from Rat. And there it is. Doesn't have yep. 100 meter, but great call out on the bat move. Ooh, the double JH forward. I thought that was going to be caught out by the BRC, but Rat still able to take his turn here. Get all the quarter carry in the world into the H disc. Meaty same side. Sometimes you got to keep it simple. Oh, boats with the $2 contribution. Thank you so very much. Greatly appreciate it. One step closer to that $300 tier. Absolutely much appreciated. Everything helps. Everything counts. There's a lot of damage on the side of Rat. Trying to find any opportunity to strike back the double TK bad move. Goodness. All right, 5K. Got that pickup. Trying to get the 2K pickup after. Yo. All right. Break the wall with the rose. Rat, can you close out the game? Just waiting, playing patient in the air to try and make sure that you have the meter to close it out. The next snap with the grab puts Rat up at 2-1. Oh, yes. Darn. Like, trying to follow up after it, and Rat just making the best of the, the situation. Like, yeah. despite TK Bad Moon not having a full follow-up after it, they were still able to be at that max range, which made things a little bit difficult for SQ. She didn't have the opportunity to really challenge there. I think Slash would have been a little bit too difficult to challenge since we're at the far position, slower startup. So she, uh, Milia could go for another TK Bad Moon. And by that point, we had the tension available to go for Red RC. Yeah, exactly. And even after the wall break, right, you didn't have the... 50 meter available just yet to go for something tricky. Zerat playing that active passivity almost, taking to the skies and doing things that are, you know, relatively low risk, just establishing that space with JS and establishing that same space in game number four here with a run up close slash. Wow, 2S, 2H. Let's here from SQ. She is in a world of hurt right now. The 5K still follows through. PRC calls out the burst. Nice explosion off the wall to extend the combo a bit further. Yep. Man, this is Yo. the pressure we were talking about, right? Yep. It was so difficult for SQ to find any of those opportunities to lock Rat down, but now that she has it, ah. barely any resources on Rat's side. Yep, and SQ should try to continue that corner pressure, but unfortunately resources dwindling thanks to the tension pulse after that PRC spend. Yep. Ooh, try to slash on through with the far slash is so scary. And finally, Rat finds the jump in. Should be able to close it out here with a 5D. Tough break here right now. Dash up, 2K, 2D. SQ, again, trying to go for that slash. 
Probably expecting a backdash from Rat, or at least going aerial. Uh, nice. Flip, gonna get punished out here. Tries to go for the fastball, but again, the jailing from Remethal, so strong with her jump peak. We tried the dash block out of the sword there, yep. But SQ just keeping you locked down. It's a throw, not a ton of damage here. The risk gradually cranking up here, using the FD to try and avoid any of that buildup. Capel here after that fastball. Rock does not find the connection. Nope. Ooh. Empty Way tries to bait out the Mortabato, but SQ does yep. not bite. Yeah, you saw it too. <laughs> Sitting in the corner, that hunter tension rat yep. is definitely pressing the issue at least trying to stay very cautious but now get carried over to the opposite side east coast is definitely going to be the home here for sq for a little while risk gauge cranked up on rat so one touch will be mortal counter will lead to kill and still jumping in with jump heavy yeah sometimes you got to be a little bit bold right mm -hmm. it's what we learned from danny sometimes even if the risk reward ain't in your favor you gotta let it rock mm -hmm. play a little bold and that glowing red bar turns out to be SQ's health bar as she's knocked down to the loser's side. 3-1 by Rat. Side top 8, Simpukai versus Jack. Wow. Do you start? All right. I mean, it would have been backed up by Gun, so that's you know, that's fine. Simpukai, though, already at, uh, space away from that 2D to work. Burst spent immediately on both sides here. So now it's just an honest game between these two. Nothing but honesty from both characters. Honest game plan. Honestly, you got five bullets and a lot more concentration headed up here. Got to be a hundred meter oh. for Jack. Just barely enough off the fast RC to keep you in 50 tension. The Deus Ex Machina wall break. Yeah, I mean, it's just a blink of the eye already getting blasted off again. Round two. Far slash goes for stain application, but a neutral jump from Jack will make that null and void. It's punished with the Arbor side too. Yeah, the extended hurt box on that curse was so scary for Simpica, or for Jack rather, right? right? Not expecting to get a hit by that far slash, but still rolls her way out of the corner. If you're on fire, if you're on stain, stop, drop, and roll saves you. Slash, low arbiter. And now we're starting that Grave Reaper setup because, of course, that stain state application will get the carry. Nice confirm routing. Go for overdrive shatter. Barely not enough to kill. Simple guy just barely needs a chip left. 50 meter, about to be 100. And the crow just barely saves you from the shot. He says, Dr. President, get down. Dr. President, he said, Dr. President. <laughs> mixed Dr. my wires President. over there, but still mixed back throwing into the corner with all the plus frames in the world here. Goes for the empty low off the JH, yep. Here we go. Whoa, double hit high there to open up. Now we got the roll through. Side slot, great call here from Jack. <laughs> nice close slash stand up for me while I reload. Yo, oh don't my god, the two me. piece stagger pressure just barely pushes you out far enough so that that two piece does not reach. And it's a big counter hit into the 2S. Goes full screen curse mode. Run up, gun. I know you got burst. There it is. One bullet left, but that's all that Jack really needs to close it. Blocks YRC for a close slash finish. Block the YRC. It's the high need, but a game one on the board for Jack. But we're seeing Simphikai fight back, right? You know, even in the previous sets that we were seeing, once you start getting caught into that far slash stain state loop, it can be difficult for you to try and make your way out. But if anyone can do it, Happy Chaos has a lot of really oh, good yeah. mid-range buttons and the 2K to try and trip you up if you get a little bit too greedy with dashing forward to try and set up that Grave Reaper. Going into that game too. See how quickly this burst gets spent right off rip. Already got full screen zoning, shuts down curse. No escape. You can't be backdashed like that. The 5k stain. Wow. Yep. First off from Simple Guy tries to go for the Grave Reaper, but Jack takes to the skies. Gary to try and apply the stain state here. Counter hit KS could be the end. Oh, nice roll through. And Werbu with the $15 contribution. Thank you so very much. Much appreciated for the generosity. Simpakai not appreciating this reset. Just air dash in, but finally gets opened up by the low. Five K is the opener here, and that's scary because look at that reach that uh, Testament has on far slash and even heavy slash alone. Like either one of those buttons could have been devastating. Yep. 
Okay, QD, Warbu with a Prime as well. So much support. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Damn, stuck in the corner here with a double stain state application. The crows are on you, and so are the sucker line. This is going to break the walls. Nope. Okay. I just got a 2 feet open. Yeah, a full charge Grave Reaper plus a million here. Catches you out off of the Kara Grave Reaper 2. Simpakai. Game on the, or round of the board rather. Nice 2D. What's he gonna get the pickup? Actually. I like this. Got the full screen pushback anyways. You can go for that yep. concentration build so you can make this approach. Still apply bullet pressure. Let's get that day sex. I'll reload. I got a bit of concentration on the field. Ready shot on through. Hard knockdown. This is rough for Simpagai oh. trying to make your way back out. But no meter to your name. That is going to be Jack with a 2-0 and a yeah. perfect. It's so tough that we're still seeing so much of this run-up tap dust gunshot. It's so difficult to deal with because I, I almost feel like you just want to stamp block in that situation easier said than done right especially like yeah. you're in that corner and you're worried about man if i get 2 deed it's still gonna be gunshot pickup it's just the reaction on tap dust is you know got to be the key factor here for simply yeah it's so difficult especially heat at the moment mm -hmm. that last hit in the game here but this could be your last game in the winner's side simply can we close one out here and put a game on the board so 2K, 2D, close slash with gunshot to boot. Not up with the far slash, doesn't quite catch anything though. Jack starting the pressure with that 2K, 2D, and even from that distance, was that car a roll to make sure that you got the cross, dude? That is crazy. Another throw, red RC, full pickup on top of it. Rounded Jack is poised and ready for a match point. Trying to swing on through two as far as wow. trying to stop the approach from Jack, but it's scary. You do not want to whip exactly like that. Gets the 2k2d oh, confirmed. Oh, guard crush thanks to the wild assault. I mean, guys, 21 gun salute. This could be the end. The winner's side run for Simkukai. If you can't hold on, you're waiting for that 50 to come back up. Oh, holding on to the burst two. Whoa! Another gunshot with the 2S representation. Okay, maybe caught out the uh, startup of a curse here. That's a big counter hit 2S to get some corner carry. And into the second miss. It's not going to kill, but it's a hard knockdown. Gives you a little bit of room to breathe. Yeah. Lots of resources available for Jack, though. Nice jump out. Sort of block that dust and roll on into the DMs. Tries to check the burst, and there it is. Oh, got the scapegoat, but not the happy chaos right behind it. 50. Whoa, Peter in the bank. Yes, barely puts the gun away in time. Oh, good back dash, and what a dash up 2k here from Simfu Kai. Oh my god, that was so scary. The meter that you had wasn't enough to seal it out. You had to find that hit to lock down Jack. Right. Guy in it for at least one more round, but Jack has full burst advantage. And delays until the final possible moment for the gunshot yes. here. Expecting Simpson kind of try to challenge just the gunshot didn't come through. And that's so dirty, so mischievous from Jack. Ooh, trying to go for the JP oh, whip no. into the throw, but so the instant 5P catching you out. You tried to delay the burst. But no, you can't delay the end of the set here. 3-0 for Jack, moving on to winner's finals. That headbanger slash here from Happy Chaos. Chaos. I mean, my goodness. Range for Danny is going to be very interesting here, especially when coupled with like a 2-H, the way that Danny's been able to Fudre arc, a lot of jump escapes. It'll be fascinating to see. Mashing on through here, 2-S, no cancel. Trying to see if Danny is going to let the DP rock on the special cancel. But no, instead fights back, baits out the burst. Oh my god, and that is so much damage on the side of her ass. There we go. Shock state applied, 6B to try to dare you on the jump in. The RC walk forward, tries to catch out any back throw attempt, but Rat knows your game, still gets caught up with the far slash. Yeah. Right, 
on the burst. Brad falls for the first round here. Gets caught out on the other side with the Capel. Close slash pickup. No, and that is... Oh my god, I love the air dash back. JH to put you right back into the disc. Picks up for the combo too. All right, there's your close slam. Ooh, great defense from Danny, but unfortunately the bat boo going to be able to come through. Okay. All right, I like the dash neutral jump over to try and stay right above the stun edge, but still, Danny, not one to be lacking on the air to airs. Oh my god. Yeah, that damage output, my god. Yeah, we're almost evened up on the life lead already, just off of a one hit confirm into the super. Ride the lightning, wall break just going so insane right now. And Danny got some extra burst in the bank. You might as well use it for the wild assault, but gets caught out on the other side with the Fuja arc. Right. 5k round start. Interesting. Interesting for Danny. Ooh, nice dash up. Nice 6. Yeah. Yep. Up to for same side, we are trying to lock down this Milia by going for a couple cross unders. Try to see this overextension here from Rat. And Rat's not representing a whole lot of buttons, just mobility, right? Trying to get out of that corner away from this great positioning that Kai wants to have. Another shock state applied that's going to make Kudri Arc safer. I love the game plan here from Danny, really trying to cycle in that shock state time and time again. We saw Danny try to run all the way over to the other side of the screen and said, All right, let me just put Rat in the corner. And he said, uh, If you're going to run over here, I'm just going to bring you into this corner. No, but we're just side swapping over and over again. Danny cannot catch a break. Finally, let's the first rock. Oh, nice. Fastball into Capel right away. Hair car for the round. Game there for Rat drawing first blood. Yeah, the first of nine moons putting the first game on the board here. And I mean, something that we bring up every time Danny comes up to the stand, right? Oh, he plays so aggressive. It's so difficult for his opponent to, you know, catch up to his pace. But Rat, you know, throughout the bracket, of course, playing the Milia mm -hmm. is also cranking up that speed, that mobility up to 200. Not necessarily always the aggression right but just keeping it up you know sometimes we're seeing dash neutral jump to go over projectiles a lot of right. fastball into capel as well but you know just keeping danny on his toes it's so difficult even when he cashes out so much when he finally does get that hit but i think that's how you frustrate a player in the style of danny right you're so squirrely that it's hard to lock you down that danny's play style doesn't really work in that regard that danny yeah. is constantly chasing which forces blunders from danny because they're committed to that run or they're not sure quite when Rat is going to come falling down with the button. Ooh, falling on down for this guy's here. Ops the fastball. It does put them back into the corner, but you're just trying to get info and download what Danny is doing to look for the anti-airs or lack thereof. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness. What a cross under close slash. Now nah, you're evil for that one, Rat. Yo. That is insane. The boom speed behind it too. Dude, no. that was the side. I thought it was opposite side too. I got smoked. Oh my god, drop the PRC so you can show the weight at the end of the round. Said I got a little extra time here. Let me give a uh let me give myself some time to breathe. Round number two here. That's a great six B Wild Assault got the stagger open up. I think probably devoured the jump startup from a uh, rat there. Ashley still has to block that far slash. Nice hiccup here from Danny. The perfect to tie it up here in game number two, but still down quite a bit on the burst. On oh, Rat again, just run under for the close slash. Danny takes the disguise, but I don't want to beat you with the JS. No, I'm going to get the big starter close slash. Oh no, that was unfortunate for Rat, or excuse me, for Danny. Vapor Thrust was the right idea, just was not close enough to hit the mark. Oh, but it's not quite enough to kill with the Lust Shaker. I love that choice there. Either go for the chip damage checkmate, or it catches them out on a fuzzy jump, on a backdash, once their invincibility finally runs out. And that's 2-0 for Rat. Isn't that two perfects for Rat in that game? I think so. <laughs> Damn. Yo, he's, he's kind of schmoovin' here. El Maza has so many supporters over there in the chat, but Rat just sneaking on through. He's like, nah, nah, nah. Watch this.
Hey, game number three. Let's see if Rat can keep up the momentum. We're seeing Danny, you know, find rounds where it's really just running away in his favor, but I don't know. Punching it out into a game. Let's see. Shock state, of course. Reapply. Too far for the far slash. Small little step error from Danny, but those errors really add up in the fact that you're giving Rat the opportunity to make an escape. Ooh. But over there we go. Burst in disguise. Mm -hmm. oh, still applied. Caught on the dome with the capel. Got that baboon able to get the full follow up. Red RC carry to this corner. Oh, the wall once again. Hard knockdown. Double air dash. Ooh. We're looking Mario Kart right now. Just trying to drive away with this set. Double BRC oh. just traded it out and gets the air throw. Yeah, that's very good. I'm sure that Rat was attempting to go for air throw, but Danny pulled the trigger sooner. I shatter with the Dyra Clat. I would have killed, honestly. The dash block just barely caught in place with a 5k, but no, you still got to watch your toes with a stun dipper. That's very good here from Danny. He's still able to clutch it out despite being at such a deficit. 6p food rate. 6H, OTG into the Fujara Shock State. That's so many plus frames to have to hold your plus frame. RC keeping you locked down. Rat waiting patiently as that risk builds. Slash here, 2H. Dyroclad, of course, to follow through and apply, but 6P interrupt. Nice oh. call out on the DP here. Rat about to answer back here. Does have 50% tension. Side swap does get blocked here by Danny. Great defense, but opened up by Jump Heavy. No confirm from Rat. Got the double layered burrito mix here. 50 50 after 50. Stuck on the other side. Left, right, high, low. Danny, can you hold on? They're doing a great job holding on, but that damage, you know, death by a thousand cuts here at this rate. Okay, we got a full follow up. Burst is available for Rat. It's your last life, and Rat believes that they can still open up, and it didn't work out. The wild assault. Great call for Danny to strip that burst opportunity so they can continue pressure, start chipping away. And the only thing that was going to save Rat was FD in that situation. Yeah, routing into the Wild Assault to give you, you know, it doesn't siphon quite as much burst as it used to in previous patches. Right. But so smart from Danny to take that momentum, immediately take to the skies and go for that high-low mix right before that burst came back up, knowing that it would be able to kill Rat. So that's a game on the board. All right. Ready game number four here. Again, we've been seeing a lot of these IADs coming out from Rat to try and go over what I would assume is, you know, round start, far slash, a really strong button from Danny. A preemptive, you know, high profile. First. Ooh. The Capel again, every single time. Same side, jump heavy. Damn, the walk forward into IAD over, trying to look for that reversal throw. But no, Danny, playing a little more patient than we're used to. We're dry for that hard knockdown. JS just trying to control Ooh, the airspace. Oh. Nothing too risky. JS into the falling close slash on the way down. Danny could be on his last legs right now. I'm seeing the Kybro prayer in the chat, but hers might not be enough. Can you oh. stay in the winner's side here? Yeah, that was such an interesting interaction because it was just a neutral jump there from Danny. This wild assault opener? Jesus Christ, the damage. Yeah, wait, wait. The prayers are working. Stop. Grandpa's getting too strong. All right. Dire flat. Positive bonus. About to be 50 meter in the bank. So we're just waiting for it to come back up. Oh, Rat no. takes all the opportunity to push the offensive. The crap just shut down the startup of a 2H there from Danny. YRC out. Tries to go for the stun dipper. Just wants to finish this. Have got a lot of health to work through. Not going to yeah. go for the Wild Assault here because I think you want to go for the burst on any yep. hit, but first is not going to save you right there. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, to your point, doesn't want to go for Wild Assault because you go into this next round with no positive bonus if you go for the Wild yep. Assault. Exactly. Oh, nice. I like the back dash 2K2D. Catch Danny on the approach. I know sometimes he tries to be a little greedy with it. Catch out, you know, a lot of double back dashes. Just run up for the deep close slash. But now, first to put you back into the corner. Run under the Fuja arc. Nice. Still able to block, but unfortunately, the second TK Batman finds the mark. Danny in trouble. Yep, I agree with the Wild Assault here. You're trying to just seal it out on any of these last hits. Tries to go for the JS to catch out an air tech, but no. He said double jumps right over. Jarak will respect. 
block frames were able to jump out. My goodness. And no pickup off of the Capel, but the reset after on the other side was all you needed, and Rat is going to move on to winner's final. First game starting off in the set, Marvello versus MFCR, top eight losers. Ooh. Counter hit 2D. MFCR said, no, I don't want to give you the momentum just yet. Back up against the wall, but still gets a light knockdown. Yeah, the cross through from downtown. A little difficult to react to. And again, we're trying at the very least. You saw a couple counter hits there from Marvello. So at the bare minimum, it's either a 2K, maybe uh, 2P to try to interrupt. Throw is probably going to be one of the calls here at the next interaction that this happens. Ready, knocking on the door. Quick first round for MFCR. Down on the burst, but that is all good. Without that, that first round, you got all the time in the world to bring it back, but back up to the corner. Tries to dash up, but gets caught on the 5K. And Nyrad with the raid. Thank you very much for stopping on by. We're just here for top eight losers here at TNS Scribe. Positive bonus situation here for Marbello. Lighting on through with the Rekka. That's the perfect on the side of Marvello right now. Down on the burst, but let's see if you can get the momentum. Try and get that positive bonus to get that burst meter back. Look at that. Tapping FD. The DP will get the side swap for Marvello. That's a benefit. I think that was just off of the side swap attempt there from yep. MFCR for the dash group. That's what we were yep. building for. That's why we got counter hit the last couple times. Correcting the timing on it. So the classic, the Rekka Rekka Super, the micro dash forward to try and go for a cross up, but no, instead, FD in your face. MFCR tries to go for the cross up. BRCDP! E All the letters in the alphabet, bro. Yeah, I mean, that was just a call out. That guard point strike from uh, MFCR there, getting out of vulnerability to win the interaction. Jump yeah. dust connection. Ooh, tries to go for the air throw, but the scoop just a little out of range. Marvello waiting out the SDP. You shoot for the stars, but you can't DPRC on this whiff. Game number one over to the ninja. Yeah, definitely a scary start there, but uh, Marvello is still able to stand strong against Leo here. Yep. Alrighty, game number two is... Is MCR's lobby avatar just Ryu with a beatbox or with a boombox? Stir it. Don't you know that Ryu is a break dancer? <laughs> You're so right. Ryu in back turn pulling up here with the Denjin charge. I, I get it. I understand. Very similar characters here. We head into game number two. Top A losers. I'm dead serious. That was a ripple trailer. Oh, you know what? Maybe I got to watch that one after this, but oh my God, watching the toes here. That's the trade on both sides. Still able to fight your way through after the scramble MFCR. Wow, the salt to break the wall and that HP. Good God. Got the punish that was supposed to be a DP attempt then. Yo, yo, relax. Oh my God, little parry action pulling up here. Quick round for MFCR, but that's what we said last time, right? Marvello still brought it back, but bursting right out of the gates. Keep the aggression on. Good just guard there. Able to get the throw punish, but out of the corner. Okay, nice back okay. dash. Yo, this is a speed run game here right now for MFCR. Side swap with the scoop. Yo, MFCR is pissed. <laughs> he is tired of seeing that one on the side of Marvello. He's like, man, the fact that this isn't a 3-0 means that we got to stick around for a minute longer. Nah, I'm trying to speed run it. Look for that 3-1 here. And that was so fast, right? Just kept the pressure on every single time. That mid-screen route that ended it, you know, didn't even want it to go for the full corner carry, knowing that it wouldn't kill. Instead, yeah. off for the pillar, crosses right on through, and that was enough to take that game one. Or game, uh, second game, first game on his side, rather. Yeah, really, they just wanted a first to two. They didn't want a first to three. Exactly. Keep the pressure on. Whoa. Yeah. There we go. See, and that's what we saw earlier. Like, I, I honestly feel like Marvello was trying to time a DP opportunity. This wasn't able to get a cross cut. So now we're going for throws on, uh, you know, the pass through from MFCR. Ooh, nice PRC. Avoid the throw and got a solid read on the situation. So we got the jump E interrupt. Yep. All right, jump on over, hits right on the other side, but MFCR ready for the setup, blocks correctly. Puts Marvello into the corner, but RC brings us all the way over to the other side, going for the Gamma Blade, Alpha Blade to bait out the Super oh! RC. Oh no. 
I mean, it looked like Leo was just running away, just continuously slashing, and no Alpha Blade to finish with a punish there. I mean, Marvella tried to finish the round, and will still succeed after the next follow-up, but that was very scary. A flash kick on immediate turnaround from MSCR, my god. Right now, it's the OTG for the side swap, but again, MFCR just bursts you back into the corner. Alpha Blade. Yeah. Ready. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Pull me three times. That's A OK. Th tries to go for a 5P to keep that pressure after BRC. Yep. Flash on down to this guy. Once again, SDP. Come on the other side with the Alpha Blade. Yeah. No, but we got the Flash Kick. It's like you said, right? You won't have to worry about which side it's on. But all you got to do is hold that charge and charging on through with the Prime Tenta. Thank you very much. 5k with the finish. All right, all tied up in rounds. Who's going to take the lead in game points? 2D from downtown. Oh, no. Did not work out, but was still able to block. Nice. Yeah, DP to the other side. Unfortunately, no punish. Which means Marvello still runs away with it. 5k pressure. These are a lot of whip DPs from MFCR. Yeah, I mean, that Alpha Blade getting that moment of invulnerability. Gold burst. All right, so we got our positive bonus for a little while. We're out of dodge, out of the corner. Not getting a whole lot for it, though. That 5P will trade. Life lead for Marbello right now. 6P does get the interrupt. Good corner carry. Yeah, the full run from downtown as well. Gets you the Wild Assault. This is going to be positive bonus chip. I think you're going to use the Wild Assault to keep the pressure up, waiting for that 50. No, instead, MFCR does it first. YRC to Alpha Blade. Oh, my God. Goodness. Damn, and use the 50 burst meter for the deflect shield, making it so that even though MFCR tried to go for the momentum to stay deflect shield safe, you were one hit mm -hmm. too late. That was the pushback you needed for the whiff punish. Yeah, great reaction right there. Marvello able to turn the tide 2-1 lead. Yeah, I mean, that one interaction, like, great call out for that flash kick on the left-right opportunity, but even still, Marvello just not swayed at all by that. Uh, again, just these two have fought each other so many times, that it's just, all right, cool. I continue my game plan regardless. Yep. Yeah, trying to play aggressive. Catch you out with the counter hit 2S. Marvello, no burst to his name, but still looking to try and get it back up with a positive bonus off of this wall break. MFCR says no, no, no. No burst on either side. This corner is mine now. Oh, never mind. All right, overhead does get blocked. Does it get a fastball? Red RC, which would have been a little more trickier to block. Nice, just guard here with the throw on a second pass through. Marvello definitely awake right now on those. Wolf with the IBFD gives you enough time, enough time to try and fight back. That's away from the pillar, but it still gets you back turn stance. All good, Marvello find the finds the red side to go for the DP. Ooh. Very. Oh, really need help for MFCR. We slide in with the 2D, baby. Keep it simple, keep it quick. We could be one round away from Marvello taking MFCR out of the tournament here. Mm -hmm. All right, the Wild Assault all the way over from the other side. Positive bonus is exactly what you're looking for. 6P oh, start. I like it because that could have been a slash there from MFCR at that range. You would have gotten the punish there. Jump K to hold the corner. First thing out, we want some room. Ooh, I like the micro delay. Just wait forward, see if MFCR goes for a DP. Ooh. Gets the approach and then run up 2K all the way to the other side. Yep. Wild Assault just for that hard knockdown. We don't have the meter for an overdrive. But Marbella feeling Ooh. very confident. Not close enough to get that punish. Will, will PRC Ooh. slow things down? MFCR able to challenge again. Dash up throw after the back turn stance. Oh, no bait on the YRC. Use all the burst. You do not want to hold that pressure, but J2K hits on the other side to send MFCR out at number seven. 3 1 for Marbello. You are more confident than I ever could be because I thought for sure another flash there was coming out from MFCR yeah. to get that anti-air.
And the fact that it didn't was insane. Like, the jump 2k would have landed much faster than what the uh, flash kick would have. I think the flash kick would have whiffed entirely given the angle. But yeah. it still would have been a punish opportunity for Marvello. And honestly, just wow. Like, being able to jump out of that situation at that type, you know, especially considering the resources that MSCR had available, that was scary. Yeah, insane work, Marvello. Able to move on to losers top six here, but again, MFCR out at number seven. Over 180 participants for tonight's TNS yeah. drive, number 101. So again, great work. And speaking of the number of participants, guys, King Jobber always likes to say, and I got a reference to go, if we can make $1 in the prize pool for every attendee over here at TNS Monday Night's Drive, I feel like our competitors would be super happy. We're at 45, so again, thank you to everyone who stopped by with those direct contributions so far. But I know some of you are feeling a little generous on this fine Monday night, so feel free to stop on by that Macharino. It would be greatly appreciated as we travel on along into the second half of the loser side, SQ versus Honored Ogre. You know, another chip player. We'll see if we keep two chips in this top eight. Uh, time will tell because again, another fly, giant fly swatter versus Nat situation here. Uh, SQ up against this chip. Yeah, exactly. Ram, one of these characters who has a lot of range on a lot of these normals to catch out the approach from Chip, right? But if he's able to play a little squirrely around it, you know, it's going to be a big whiff punish. It's so much mobility to try and look for that whiff. Wow, immediate confirm into the overdrive for that hard knockdown. Ooh. Right, knockdown. Waiting for the positive bonus. Deflection gives you a little bit of time to wait, but no, Ogre knows you're trying to spend that 50 burst. Pulls up right after anyway. Touch away is oh, SQ, but she's still able to open up that 2K start in the Daro series. And the $5 contribution from I have never 360 no scope. Thank you for donating again. I, I saw that oh, name yeah. pop up earlier, so appreciate it. Yeah, it's definitely a memorable one. So thank you for stopping on by that match, Reno. Once again, first round on the board here for Ogre. Tries to go for the cross up. Angelo Dixon going for the $5. Thank you, thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. Oh, geez, Deflect Shield doesn't really push all that far away on the uh, jump in. Yeah, oh. I really like the awareness we're seeing from these players in reaction to the Deflect Shield. It's so easy to try and go for your block string autopilot right after, but no, right. they're waiting for it. They see that burst available. Yo, great routing here from Otter over after the Jump K Overdrive pickup. Jump in, there's your Deflect Shield, getting the space that we're looking for, Slash, and continuing after the full stop sign from Daro's startup. Ooh. 5D, tap dust into the RC, puts the first game on the board for Honored Ogre. Yeah, a lot of great back and forth, and honestly, the most uh, deflect shield I've seen all night in this match alone. Right? You're constantly trying to, you know, get Chip out of that optimal range. Yeah, he has the positive bonus, but let me see if I can just force out one whiff, try and swap up that momentum, and then take out that time from the positive bonus. But Honored Ogre, just one step ahead, ready off of that safe jump to be like, okay, do I see the big orange bubble, or am I good to keep my pressure going? Right. Oh, going to this game two. Dual one. And I do like that SQ. She's really trying to keep that space away from uh, Honor and Ogre, right? You, you're playing that mid range that uh, SQ is definitely going to win a lot more out on because of the range that Ramathal likes to play at, anyways. Especially yep. back with her new ability, the rock to pull the uh, opponent back in. Tab does confirm. No positive bonus quite yet, but the windshield wipers will do a, a chunk of damage. There we go, got a positive. Oh my god, 6p into the OTG windshield wiper is more than enough to kill SQ. Played that methodically. Yeah, once you get positive bonus as Ramathal after that first corner shatter, SQ, she'll definitely opt to push you right back into the corner, rinse and repeat that cycle. Especially since positive bonus doesn't last as long as it used to, it's worthwhile to reset another break again to continue the exact same scenario. But this time, Honored Ogre is running that with Demonizer90 giving a $10 contribution buff. I'm seeing these donations. Thank you, thank you, guys. Honored Ogre is like, nah, let me kill it with the super here. I'm trying to make some of that prize pool myself. Nice IV. All the salt to press, and look at that risk gauge. You are mortal counter away. Oh my god. 
maximum damage here. Of course, we're spending overdrive. Thanks to that risk gauge being cranked, you are almost dead. Over 90% damage here. Yeah, Honored Ogre potentially on his last legs in this game right now. And speaking of the legs, stick out the 5k for another perfect. That was two perfect rounds for Eskew to tie it up 1-1. Yeah, do not get caught with maximum risk gauge, folks. That is... <laughs> look, that's a, look, a setup for disaster there, that situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely uh, an ill-advised situation. You don't want to have to hold all that pressure if you don't have to, but still, it's scary to try and rock out with the DP in case yeah. SQ is spaced out on it, looking for the rock. And it's scary to try and mash on out, especially if they have that counter hit available, just waiting for you on mm -hmm. the other side. So game number three, let's see it. Dual one. Let's rock. Ooh, gosh, I'm trying to go for 2k 2d. Side swap does not work out in the favor of Honored Ogre there. We were not expecting that. Now we got to deal with the rock pressure. Look at that. Blocks the burst. And now you are in dire straits. Mortal Bato for that shatter heart knockdown. And now we got positive bonus. Continue once again. Bring it in. Oh yeah, pull up for the plus frames, but no, the sword toss behind you. Why are clues out both of them? That's gonna be the side swap. No, but first to put you back into the corner, I agree. Oh. SQ is locked in right now. Run up, micro delays on the dash, but that's gonna be the far splash. Two H catching you out from the skies here. Double alpha blade. Ogre is styling right now. 50% life lead. Well, that could change in the blink of an eye given the circumstances and the character you're up against. I got our throw. SQ, she might not have an opportunity here to try to have something to say about this. One more touch. Little we'll back dash, trying to wait out here. You're so scared at that one HP, waiting for Honored Ogre to do something a little crazy, oh, like the run up TP. Oh no, if you lose off of this, Ogre, you are never gonna live this one down. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry that's, I cursed both of you, to be honest. No, that's, to be fair, that's the second time that SQ has dropped in the exact same spot. The 6H not getting the wall bounce that she's looking for to get the full extension. Previously, we did get the 6H hit, but wasn't able to get the confirm in the next hit. So dropping before 6H even connects here, a little wonky right now. Got to clean that up. God, the quadruple, the pentuple overhead with the JPs knocking on the doors. SQ said no one is home, but we got a hundred meter behind the tap dust. Seal it out with a gamma blade to put yourself 2-1 over on an ogre. My goodness. And it started with a full bar of risk gauge, that moral counter. And here we are, that momentum picking up. And the donation momentum continues with Ty with the $10 contribution. Thank you so very much. Dude, you guys are pulling up with the direct contributions right now. Again, we appreciate it, and especially the players do as well. It gives them even more to fight for than the honor of TNS. But still, both of these players trying to stay alive in this loser's run for game number four. One. Yes, indeed. Let's rock. Nice, got the school. No stagger pressure with that 5k. We draw the line on that 2s. Daro startup expecting a burst potentially. <laughs> Yo, jump K will work out here with the scissors while falling. Damn. Ro ah. Wait, rock into the uh, sword toss actually brought you out of the corner there. Yeah. That is not what SQ was looking for. And now back against the wall with no resources. It's scary. You got to scramble your way back out. That's a setup situation that you expect the opponent to be blocking the whole time. And the uh -huh. they got hit was able to course correct in time. And now we're catching this overdrive due to the scramble. All right, there we go. Windshield wipers with 50% tension, but we dash up reversal wreck a low. Yeah, it's easy to say like, oh, okay, I have the 50 meter. I might as well just try and look for the windshield wiper neutral skip RC. But then especially when you're spaced out like that and you have so little health behind you, it's scary. What are you going to do? Run up and then risk getting caught out by Kara Rekka like that? So Honored Ogre really trying to tie this one up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they are. Uh, right, we'll see here. Oh, missed the guard cancel entirely. 
Wow, this Sunka jumping out of the command grab. PRC to reset the situation to H. Ooh. Of course, corrects after Daro's series. We'll get that far slash. We can wild wow assault. All right, doesn't opt to spend the meter. I guess we're going to save for YRC just in case. If burst ain't got me, I know YRC does. Especially with that positive bonus being able to help out just a spin. Ooh, YRC on the 5D says, no, 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 I'm not trying to hold that mix. I am not trying to bring this over to a game no. number five. But Honored Ogre says, too bad with the far slash. That is going to be 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, the back-to-back -back 5Ks, you know, it, it's kind of like a, a rule of thumb in, in a lot of cases where if you whiff a normal, don't try to press a normal again unless if you're in a safe distance because the opponent can actually dash in for a whiff punish, especially chip. Breaking that rule just a little bit there, the 5K, because normally it's a much faster button. You're able to recover quickly. It's relatively safe, so it's fine to do in some cases, but that was just not the time here. Honored Ogre was able to smother that immediately. Mm-hmm. All right, stop the momentum in its tracks. It's been so back and forth here. Game number five, right. fighting for your tournament life. Let's rock. Yeah. Oh. And again, see, just like at the end of the last round, we're trying to interrupt with the 5K. 6P will get the uh, counter hit and Honored Ogre able to follow up. So immediate burst from SQ. Trying to swipe on through. That's the back dash, keeping yourself alive for just a little bit. The micro walk back 6P. Ooh. Oh no, a knockdown, watch out. Oh, BRC probably wanted YRC instead. We shut down the startup of Drift RC from uh, Honored Ogre. SQ able to hold this corner. Walk up for the dash 2K, tick throw right after, caught out the FD and now it's set point for Honored Ogre. Damn. Yep. Speaking downtown, just opting to take the corner carry. Don't try and cash out on a combo. Ooh. I agree. Time to Gamma Blade. Backdash on the JH out of the corner. Honored Ogre just getting boxed in. Still able to get the wall explosion with another shatter on top. It has to jump P for it. Ooh. Immediate post wall break. Far ah. slash tries to stop the approach. The low and the cross up. All right, Alpha Blade, keep you on your toes. Watch out for the burst here, potentially, but it's you're already at one round ahead, so we're going to hold on to this. Portal bottle bottom for the finish. Uh -huh. All right. First advantage for Honored Ogre here. Let's see what you can make of it, but with the Ooh. counter hit, siphon the burst here to keep it safe. There we go. SQ. Honored Ogre knows what he's in for. He's like, I'm good. Absolutely. All right, giving a positive bonus situation there. Goes for sure again. We got the interrupt 5K. Hint to the wall. You still have burst, Honored Ogre. You had burst Garfield, what are we supposed to do? I hate Mondays, especially when you're at such low HP. Fighting for your life here at Monday Night's Drive. Strip the burst again with the Wild Assault. Double IBFD, keeping so strong on the defense. Go. Same sign, jump 2K does get blocked. And the Wild Assault to continue that corner pressure. But now we have reversal opportunity. SQ, she does have 50% tension, but so does Honored Ogre. Oh, 2K, no full follow-up right there. Ooh, tries to go for the JK on the other side. Ogre, can you bring this back? You are so far ahead on the meter advantage. Oh, SQ, oh any wrong guess? Cross up on the Alpha Blade. Is that enough? Jitsu, is that enough? It is enough. The comeback from Honored Ogre. One HP and a dream. Right now at this point, I feel like I say that every time I see Danny playing. Uh, not only just this weekend, just every TNS bracket that Danny appears. Nice throw, Marbello already applying that corner pressure with positive frames off the clone. Ooh, FD, you tried to stay at that perfect spacing, but no, instead counter hit. Danny offs use the burst and just IEDs right out of the corner. Ooh, big throw away on the shock state though. No cut off by far slash, no burst on either side. Oh, boy, nice pickup with the fast RC low. Ready, two front through, break the glass. Danny about to have the 100 meter. I wonder if we let the DP rock. Ooh. Yo, I can't, what? <laughs> what is that interaction? 
<laughs> nah, no way, bro. You were looking for PRC. What did you even do? Was it like Stun Dipper? And you're like, nah, I'm not trying to hold that. But now it's Stun Dipper. Negative penalty, not an issue here as Danny breaks the wall with a wild assault. I can't believe that Chip kicked the far slap. That's what I'm tilted about. My man that's put out baby. sword and Chip said, I don't want any of it. It stepped on the sword. Like that's the greatest insult I've ever seen. So he said sandal into sword. That's the steel toed Birkenstocks. I'm pissed, but still Marvello <laughs> not able to seal out the round here, even on first and immediately going into the super. Uh, nope. Nice, just blocks, but still got opened up. There's your burst. Stun edge coming through. Again, applying that shock state. You got whip punished for that rage for putting on a 2K. I can't believe it, bro. You're trying to go for something safe, a little safe poke, and then you're like, hmm, geez, my toes have been clipped here. All good, Marvello, no burst to his name. Shock state applied, and just trying to play squirrely until that 50 comes back up. Right, you're still your turn. I can't believe that shock state ended right after Fudre Art hit. That's so unfortunate for Marvello there because they could have taken a turn if it was yep. just a frame later. Ooh. Yo! <laughs> they have the J's in your face as you're looking for the wild assault. Danny said, let me be a little crazy, but Marvello stopped you in your tracks. All right, the back dash. Ooh. It's very see, interesting that a whip see, okay. to, to see in this match that Danny is so focused on whip punishing Marvello as opposed to going for the aggressor. So you know what, like, instead of trying to keep up with the pace of Chip, I'm just going to keep up with Kai's pace. You know, traditional, go back to that neutral base plan that Kai is so used to. Yep. Ooh. Rekka Rekka, go for the soft knockdown there. I agree. Talk in the corner regardless. Rekka Rekka Super, the classic here for Marvello. Not a lot of damage, but hard knockdown and a positive bonus is exactly what you're looking for. But barely any RC behind it. JT, were you in Chowder? You know me. I'm here with the Rekka Rekka Rekka. Rada Rada Rekka Rekka. Nice Ooh. throw here to punish the DP. Nice OTG on top of it. Almost sent it home. Burst away. Oh Ooh. my goodness. <laughs> Hook to the skies, tried to go for the TKDP, but defeat is all you saw. Just ran up for the 5K right after. Yeah, that was definitely a uh, a bold choice to try and close out the game from Danny. Even Tempest in the chat, he's like, huh? Nande, what's, what's going on over here? But sometimes you got to show him you have that aggression on deck, right? Sometimes that aggression, not well founded as far as the end of the set goes, but it's all right. good. One game on the side of Marvello here. Danny, can you bring it back? Let's see Alpha Blade carry here. Nice 2K to get that shatter opportunity. Wild Assault with full strip there. Whoa! Yeah, big counter hit, far slash with the wild assault behind it, already stuck on the other side, just yeah. barely reacted with the DP right at the end of that tap dust. And at the very least, I love that RC, just so we get that side swap, better positioning here for Marvello. Oh, PRC opportunity, jump 2K was a little bit late there. Get scooped up, wasn't gonna happen to block anything here. Oh no. Damn, Apple Blade, but still stuck on the other side. I thought it would cross up once again, but no. Bro, keeps you locked down. Barely any health loss, though. Nice. Oh, oh. 2D knockdown. Nothing else there except for putting Kai in a perfect position for the finish. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, 2D all the way through. Shock state applied. God, I can't even believe the Fujark reaches so far. Five Ks and food on top. Right. More shock state, Fuji. You're gonna hold this. Too far for the tap dust. Thanks to the FD from Marbello. Uh oh. Last touch situation. Scary. Yeah. Just doesn't need to work all that hard. Like, of course, go for it. If you think you're gonna beat out that. Uh, that neutral game, you're certainly not going to beat a night adrift with that $10 contribution, though, that's for sure. Hey, thank you very much for the support. Oh my god, and Danny just pouring out the damage here. No burst available, so Marbella free to run through with the Wild Assault. 
Night Adrift with the roar of the spark call out here. No, Danny, can you hold on? Trying to go for the JS, looking Ooh. for a 5B, but finally catches out Marvella with a Stun Dipper on the other side. 5K OTG to get you to stand up a little bit sooner. Reversal wreck, uh, yo, Marvella's certainly been representing that option. Yeah, right. Oh, you oh, said no! no! Oh, what? Marvello! No! What? <laughs> no! Why did the super drop? What Guys, clip that. I feel like I need to rewatch that one. That is so heartbreaking. Marvello was looking for the super ender into the wall break, but a crucial drop right at the end means that Danny ties it back up 1 1. I swear we confirmed it. Like, we, there was. That thought. wasn't too late. Like, that was. You fell out that quick? What happened, Holy bro? Smokes. The Steel Toad Tim's really got that extra gravity on you, and Danny's like, well, you know, I'll take it. All right, well, we're still in this here. One all in the set. Yeah, run up 2K, on hit, go for the throw reset too, and charge stun edge brings you over to the corner. Did we clash DP with 6P? That's what I thought, right? <laughs> you put your hands into a DP and clash? It was crazy. Stun Dipper, you tried to stop it, not fast enough. We have the open fist, but you are opening up this health bar right now. 10% left for Marvello. Just barely caught out with a 5k. Tried to PRC yourself to stay safe, but no. Danny puts another round on. Jesus. Is that a 5p attempt right there? We got heavy slash for it. Yeah. Big counter hit. Barely any health left. Danny is trying to speed run this right now. Yo. All right. Well, that might do it here. Oh, and unfortunately, the routing was a bit weird because we expected a burst. Wasn't able to get the 5k pickup to finish it. Yep, run right under, go for the far slash. We can see, but his knockout opened up with a double oh. overhead. Tap on the dome, Marvello, barely any help to his name. There we go. Oh my goodness, beautiful route here. But a tall order still. Nice block. Yeah. At the last possible moment, that tap dust was ripping. Look at the movement from Marvello here, avoiding fireballs, staying at max range away, but the 6P will get slashed. Danny up 2 1. Avoided all the chain lightning, but all we needed was the steel sword to catch you out of an attempted 6P. Mm -hmm. And all right, Danny goes up 2 1, looking to try and send Marvello home. Yo, Aquafina with the clip here. I just have to open that replay. up on my second it, no, monitor. I need to see it. It should have. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. It's because the record pushed forward, so it was already very low to the ground. You had your oh. ground recovery there. That is unfortunate. It's just too yeah, low. Yeah, I tried to go from Lincoln to Rekka 1, but I guess just a little too late there. And like you're saying, right? Just barely off the ground. That that hurts. Yeah. That Otherwise, like, if if Kai were a little bit higher, right? So Kai had yeah. to be just above the hand of the Rekka in order yeah. for that to follow up and the hurt box was ever so slightly lower than what it was supposed to be it uh, ideally yes it would have followed up under a normal circumstance that totally follows up it's just the height of kai really screwed uh marvello out of that so 2-1 lead yeah. right now for danny yeah we took a second right outside of the character select screen obviously not looking for the character change but sometimes you know especially after a moment like that you just need to s settle down take a deep breath and go all right game number four we move. Colors. It's a color swap. Oh, you know, Marvello does do that occasionally, right? Sometimes you just need to go to character select, stay in the same champ, and just switch it up, right? This is the <laughs> EX Marvello. Right, that far slash still catching the back dash. Use that damage lead. DP gonna get scooped up, and because it's a punish, you're dead. Yep. Run up 2k 2d. A lot of these times we're seeing Danny go for micro dash 2k to try and catch out, you know, whatever Marvello is looking for. Maybe go for a little low profile on a bar slash. Still 50% available for Danny here to keep you locked oh. down. Yeah, not quite sealing the deal there with the uh, wall splat. <gasps> Gosh, that's. You got guilty geared. That is. There's nothing more I can really say about that game in particular. You got guilty geared, and that is. Heartbreaking. Occupy. He's air dashing in on you. He's catching up on the ground, and it's a big counter hit starter. 
Right. Ooh, threat the needle with a jump 2k though. Ooh, got yourself into the corner. Just stay right out of Sipukai's 2k. Right, Jesus, already the damage lead. Holy cow. All right, double wreck into the tap dust. Sometimes that's all you need. The FD not going to save you if you're not blocking the right way. Right, nice. Bomb assault. Again, got the follow up. Good corner. Yeah, corner delay, record pressure. That's the RC up in the J2K. Oh, so many JPs. No, oh, Mr. Goldfurs fell for the Shadow Clone, and that is a punish from Honored Ogre. Naruto and all his homies, you were looking for the gold burst, but no positive bonus to be found here. There's only a positive bonus on the side of Honored Ogre, just utilizing all these resources. Crank the risk, the next hit is going to be a forced counter hit here. No, but not quite able to kill. But this one is the bicycle kick from the top rope. Honored Ogre runs away with game one. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that second round interaction of just locking down the corner for Simfukai. What, what does Simfukai really do out of there? You have to have, like, IBFD option represented to kind of get that pushback you're looking for. You might also look for your deflect shield opportunity there, but yeah, we didn't really get a whole lot of that uh, either way. I, and I wonder if it was the fear of just the delay from Honored Ogre. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, like, it's scary, right? You're trying to find your way back out. They finally leave such a big gap to be, a, you know, greedy on the pressure reset. And then you're not ready for it because they've been frame trapping every time before. But, all right, game number two. Let's see if we can get the momentum here. 6P up the stain state is a great start, but what a clash. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. Already got the low. Nice little fastball there from Honored Ogre. But, I mean, look, the opposite... Ooh. Opposite round start that we got in this uh, previous game is now here, where Simple Guy has a l large life lead, but Honored Ogre is really bringing it back. Yep. Oh, Simple looking for the 5k. Yeah, and it's just like you said, right? Once you're able to set up the Succubus, but you do swipe wrong on the uh, on the screen and lose a lot of space, you still have the TP out to make them try and regain that space all over again. Oh, so sure I can. Hey, check this out. Business card. Damn. All the way Ooh, on the other side. side. No, stays. Close the foot. Okay, Alpha Blade with another off the wall pickup. How do your eyes keep up with that? Is that just a young gun thing? And then again, Marvello's not a young gun and still can keep up with that. So I don't, I don't get it. You either got the train dies of Mystic Perception or you got the Zoomer Subway Surfers looking at four monitors at the same time type deal. But tied up here, Honored Ogre trying to put a second game on the board right now and pulls off with the swiftness. All right, Shadow Clone does actually add damage to uh, ship themselves. Warping it, nice, 2K. Oh, we whip that up. Oh. I cannot believe it reached. I'm gonna be 100% with you. I was thinking he was gonna take this guy, be minus a thousand, but no. Now we're one. Ooh, poker, relax. The Sifukai was just not blocking. That was unfortunate, but Sifukai gonna paint, get back in space. Not quite gonna get a shatter too far away, but we got the stain locked out. Not the blade. Ooh. They're still stayed there, bursting. Oh, Dude, I'm kidding. Brings it back off of defensive burst into run up tab dust. You know, Honored Ogre is sweating right now. He's like, dude, I, you know, I almost fumbled. But you know, if you can't kill off of the TK DP, it's not my problem. Still gonna make it 2 0 right now and potentially one game away from sending Simfukai home. I just. Man. <laughs> I wish we would have blocked that overdrive. Yep. That is how it goes. I really thought that that one was going to go with, but, you know, some of these uh, scramble situations coming up in Honored Ogre's favor, for sure, as we start off with another counter hit. Oh, put yourself into the corner, but Simpic Guy still has to block it out. Yep. All right, 2K 2D interrupt. Nice. Excellent follow-up here from Simpic Guy, and again, just that damage output, staying applied, we're shattered up. Let's get this positive bonus here. 
Got it up. We break the wall, put the Arbiter sign on for a little extra damage, and now Honored Ogre. Worse for wear with the low Arbiter sign. And see, that was all made possible simply because Honored Ogre went for a Wild Assault, so we lost a bit of burst there. We yep. got it back, obviously, but Simple Guy was able to just kind of send it. Gamma Blade sent out the Shadow Clone, burst out from Super Guy, trying to be at this optimal range, but again, Honored Ogre. Pulls up, covers so much of the screen so fast. DP out. No, just send the crow. All right, there we go. Nice pickup. And we got full screen presence again. And like I was saying, too, we're going to see, uh, you know, these Grave Reapers come through because Stain is able to back it up. And the moment that it's gone, Tippy Kai kind of shies away from it. Tap Dust finds the mark. Deep cross up, though, for Honored Ogre. Ooh, why did I see right through that Rekka? Not want to have to hold any of the high low shenanigans. Super guy applies the stain state. This should be a game. One, two, you're on the board. Okay. So nice little answer back after Honored Ogre was able to run away with it for a little while there. It's that damage output that Simphikai is capable of. And I think once we get that set up initially, like especially with Stain State, I think Simphikai is going to be just fine. But trying to lock down Chip is such a difficult task. Yeah, exactly. Even if you have such long range normals, far slash 2S and all of the Grave Reapers to control that space, if you're not, you know, actively hitting Honored Ogre when he's mixing up his approach options, you're losing so much tempo, so much screen space, and your back is to the wall just like it is right now. Full screen Grave Reaper, that's going to help out here. 6P with the stain to try to get the pickup bursting. Ooh, good six. Yep, run up, trying to go for the dash box here. No stain state applied, so Honored Ogre trying to be as aggressive as possible. Keep up the pressure, so there's no time to send out the crow. S to draw the line, stain, get the corner carry. Stain no, Rock's mid low. combo is oh, sick pick up into the EXE Beast. Chomping on down from below, Super Guy takes another round. He's deep cross up. Oh, we're getting a lot of those. Nice run up throw. Oh, geez, that is not the red RC we were looking for. Wasn't expecting a cross up, but it happens. We still got the corner carry, still made the most of it, and still got the shatter. There go, two S20 right out of range. It's rough. Ooh, beautiful catch with the 2K. Honored Ogre holding on to the burst because I'm not going to be too crazy. If I lose this round, that's how it goes, but I do not want to go into round number three with no burst to my name. Whoa, uh, well, you're not going to go into round number three. All right, bro, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I did not think that super was going to kill. I did not believe. I did not have faith, but Sifukai said, mm, what if you had a little bit more belief in me and the testament here as we head into game number five? That uh, Arbiter sign taking a bite out of the life of Chip. That's what I'm saying. All right. Tied up on this loser side here. It's do or die. Duel Final one. game for both these players. Let's yeah, let's see if he can clutch it out. Honored Ogre really trying to make it onto this loser semis right now. Trying to turn up the aggression once again. Make sure they don't have to hold any of the defense against Testament where it's seeming like they're a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe not used to the game plan in particular that Sipukai is representing here. The rotation of the Stain Frogs. Oh my god, and it does a grip. Oh, this will hurt tremendously. That extra Arbiter sign to get a little touch. High this time, and of course, backed up with Stain. There's the Grave Reaper. That point for Simfu here. I like that they're going for the micro dash high low arbiter side, right? You can fuzzy it, but still, the thing is, they're not putting themselves in range for the IED JH trying to go for that high low so that you can avoid the DP right afterwards. Yeah, there's that dash up catching the startup of Grave Reaper. Overhead blesses the dome. Let's pick up off Alpha Blade. Oh, off the wall, the jump 2K. All right, Honored Ogre trying to bring us to that final round here. Can you seal out that last hit, though? Six P. What? Where the shirt can go? It just disappeared. They just swatted away. Six P. I, I don't know what to do with this. All right. Back final here. round here. Oh, 
Whoa! Uh, tapped on the dome with the overhead. Rekka tries to wait on the burst. Super Kai not gonna panic just yet. The Abare six piece is not on a unhandy. Team oh, side, Ambly gonna pick up off Sting. Oh, missed that second stain set up there. Was supposed to be that full carry. We do have first available. It does yeah. get spent. Let's be so careful here. A couple Grave Reapers. Yeah, not a great place to throw out the Crow, but it is a great place to throw out the Alpha Blade. The full confirm from Honored Ogre steals it out in such a tight set. 3-2. Yeah, I mean, what a turnaround there for Simfukai. They were really upping the ante throughout the set. Jack, they're trying to co confirm their seat over there in the winner's side grand finals. Get a little bit of that assurance here as we head into game number one. Open up with that 2K 2D and the overhead on the same side. Bank applied here. A little bit of concentration after that light knockdown and jump heavy does find the mark here for Rat. Nice. YRC does not want to deal with the bad move. Jump P interrupts. Trying to put a close slash off the RC. Get all that screen space back. No, but we're just jumping right on out. Jack said, no, no, no. That one's not real. Yeah, a couple two Ps right there. Oh, has to put the gun away. No concentration. But it doesn't look like we're going to need it here because of the 5K follow-up. Steady aim. Heavy shot. Not gonna find the mark here. Good block from Rat to get the cleanup. Heavy shot, but that's a heavy loss. You tried to get the momentum back here, but Rat still able to seal it out off of that concentration burnout. Yeah, it's a spectacular block there from Rat because Jack was not wrong for that heavy shot. Odds were in Jack's favor that the hit was gonna find uh, off of the heavy shot there. Here we go on the other side. That JS right in your face. Pick up with the 2K. Nice jump back heavy. Draw another one for you for the full carry. Deus Ex for a reload. We're about 50. Ooh, actually, lost well, quite a bit of concentration. So the next opening gambit will probably be a small concentration here. No. Oh, no. Let's go for the curse and then maybe yeah. start the. Uh, Mark the block string there. We saw the roll, maybe looking for a preemptive par slash. Now, Jack, right. worse for wear here. Concentration super available. Rat, you got to hold this. It's a first, though. We're definitely not going to spend. Lucky little routing, trying to bait out the burst, but Rat, not going to let it rock. Air to air, but jump T. It stops the momentum of Rat, so you're not going to get a left to right situation. Six P. Cloned up and sit right on top of it because that's going to make uh, the first hit from Rat not work and hit the clone instead of uh, Happy Chaos. All right, H disc keeping you locked down. Lush Shaker for the full pushback. Going for the spacing trap there with the far slash. You thought you could mash there. All right. That's burst available, does Rat, and so does Jack. The air throw, way to keep up with the momentum. BRC doesn't work out here for Jack. The close slash, almost sealing the deal, but had that burst left. Two P to close out the game here. Brought it to the last round, but Rat seals out game number one. Yeah, I mean that's a you know with that much of a life lead, why not two P on the stagger pressure? Why not? Exactly. I mean, you have a decent amount of life to lose, and especially with some of these concentration uh, nerfs, right? You're not quite able to cash out quite as much, or at least you have to make the decision, if this is going to be able to kill, do I cash out, or do I try and keep myself resource positive for the next interaction? Absolutely. Got a ring set up here with a close slash. We'll be getting a shatter. All right, lots of health lost already for Jack. Still 50 behind Ooh. you with a full positive bonus, Rat. Dude, you're speed running. What's going on? And I love the strip too after uh, that previous wall interaction because it took yep. that much longer for Jack to get at least 50% burst back to go for a wild assault opportunity. So we stole an opportunity from them. But, uh, wow, Rat, again, already about to get a shatter here. Nice 5P. 
Yeah, it's disc in your face. That's not exactly the safest ender you got going on there. Space out is all good, but no, right up against the corner, the thing is like mocking us in the face. Mirage right on through. Double far slash. Neither of them are going to find their mark. Yo, that was nerve wracking right there. All right, push uh -huh. away. Go. You went for the tallest pass call in the world, wasn't even worried about the anti-air, and oh, then goes oh. for the anti-air close slash. You, you gotta play, you know, chances make champions, as they say. You send the spin cycle, one more setup off the ring, no burst. You went for the fastball cross-up, catches you on the other side, Mirage on through for the lush shaker pickup. Dude, we're just freestyling combos right now. Rat is running it down here in winner's finals. <laughs> okay. 2-0 lead right now. Yo, is it's happened before, but uh -huh. we'll see. I'm not putting that energy out there quite yet. Hmm. I'm picking Let's... up what you're putting down, but once we speak it into existence, the commentator curse is too powerful. Let's see it. Game number three. Air car, immediate burst. That's a nice boon here for Rat. Hell, the chase down, but the stank applied. No concentration. So Rat can close the gap. Yo, the threat, it's relentless. Not even giving Jack opportunity to reload. You gotta dance around this. And Rat is just eradicating all of these clones. This is around here. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Already just running it down, Rat. On set point here, looking at grand finals, Jack. How are you going to be able to respond to K2D? Nice little knockdown here, but still be behind on the resources. Waiting for that first to come back up. What are you going to make of the 50 meter? Jump out, very low concentration. There's your throw. Ooh, I like the OTG into the refresh on the focus. Not looking at the burnout right now. That's a wild assault. No bullets here. 5K. We've seen Jack try to close it out with no bullets and no concentration. Oh, Ooh. deflect shield doesn't find it hit. Oh my god, that was so scary. That would have been the counter hit recovery, but rats go high in the sky. You can't even get the punish. Oh, no, no but it's delayed. JBH in your face. All the meter in the world, but that's a YRC. No way. Hair car with no meter. Are you kidding me, Rat? Oh, the rat doesn't close it out. It's not uh, close enough to the wall just yet. All right. A very right. scary situation. The far slash hits. Straight though, bad boot. Yep, run up, meterless bad moon. Gotta make sure oh, you know man. I got it like that was not the JP. On the other side, Jack taking to the skies here off the cross up. Jack has been so on point with these air to air interactions, whether it be throw or jump P. Not letting Rat run him up in the skies is crucial in this matchup. Ooh, run up the shot, no bullets in the tank. Rat trying to keep the pressure on before Jack has any opportunity to strike back. Go reload one bullet in the chamber. Are you feeling lucky? Not too much. Pull up for the winger. I don't know. With the glass break, I think it's just barely not enough to kill. Rat, 50 meter. See the side swap. Capel will do 3 0 victory for Rat. Players tonight here. You're feeling so generous. But here we go. Jump heavy. Wow. Yeah, tried to go for the FD break, but instead, Nod just gets raked on top of the head. The Helmbreaker, JH, pulling up here. Danny just taking names right now and taking a lot of damage on the side of Ogre. URC chases the back dash into 2 D. Good lord. Oh, yeah, immediate round start. Far slash coming up from Honored Ogre, immediately ready to go for the wild assault. Not gonna spend it again, right? Because you want to keep a little bit of it up for the pressure. No, oh, but 5P on the other side. Ooh, 5P to lock things down. What? What a DP from Danny. Yep. This guy's there. DK SDP just gonna backdash into the super on this Fudra arc. That that's a punish if I've ever seen one on a Dogger. Oh, oh no, you tried to go for the side swap. Yeah. The blocks. 
Yeah, but six. You saw the full stop from Danny. Said, I know you're gonna jump. Come on now. Yep. Six P oh. finds the mark and the classic Kyle special dash up throw. Bro, he is dancing on him. I cannot believe it. Just pull up with a five P whiff throw. <laughs> the game ender. That's the classic, right? You just need to be able to seal it out. But at one HP, that is a scary choice from Danny. I gotta say. Mm -hmm. See how the rest of this one shakes down. Yeah, first game on the board for Danny here. Tragic round. And I mean, I guess the throw is looking for the DP as well from Honored Ogre. Would yeah. you have exploded to a backdash? Yes, but still, you know, you can only cover so many options at the time. Here. Right, right. Got game number two. And when your back's against the wall, the opponent is likely going to do a DP, right? I mean, here is a perfect example. That 5K meeting. A little bit early and able to recover in time just to avoid that DP opportunity. So get your punish after. Vapor thrust carry. Oh my god, with the launch off of the shock stay two. Incredible rounding from Danny. Got hit two times, but off of the light confirm says no no no. You need to combo me before I stop mashing. The six B brought us all the way here. Chase down with a 5k. No backdash for you with that far slash. 5k into the whiff, 2k though, gotta keep you honest. Honored Ogre rapidly losing life. 50 meter and gotta be more, even more for Danny on the positive bonus. Slide on into the DMs, tap, does pick up. It's already over, it's 2-0 right now. These we didn't even get to the chorus, so we didn't even fast. get to the chorus. We didn't even get to the rub dub baby, I can't exactly. believe it. Dude. No rub a dubbing. That is insane, guys. Also, a quick shout out to Molly Daisy, by the way. You know, that song in the background, Extras, Elfeld's character theme, it is sick, and I love that Danny has that as the choice. Molly Daisy does all of the vocals in that song, so it's not two or three different vocalists, it's just one person. So, you yeah, know, if you get yeah. the chance, check her out on Spotify. She does an amazing job. But again, game number three here, loser semifinals. Honored Ogre just really struggling to find a foothold here. To it, 2K. Already got the Dire Eclat to apply that shock state. Fudre Arc and reapplying that shock state, which allows for the Fudre. That's not a good call on that DP. It's certainly not your turn. Nope. All right, run up for the safe kick. 50 meter built up on an ogre. You don't have the opportunity to block any chip here. So no, instead, you're going to run the chip pressure in the corner. Keep Danny Oh my god! Here. Let the 2P rock, bro. You don't have any resources to confirm. You might as well. It's one of those moments where if you got blocked with that alpha blade, it's just, all right, you got it. <laughs> exactly. You got it, big bro. Let the burst rock. All right, set point for Danny right now, looking for blood, trying to make his way over to the loser's finals, and you are off to a great start. I'm not opting to go for the uh, the super there. I wonder if we missed the Kara direct line to ride the lightning, but all good stun for here. Should be able to kill with the pickup off the dash cancel. Danny sends you home, Ogre, with a 3-0. Danny, where you gotta be, man? <laughs> he's busy, bro. He's He's what? got plans after this. I guess he's do? trying to go clubbing after TNS 101. I get it. Yo, it's a little late, but... What season do for you in Mexico? Because taxes aren't due over here until April. Like, what's going on? Our like, penultimate set here loses finals. Danny versus Jack. Stun Dipper already. Wild Assault carried to that corner. A couple just guards, and that's important. The IBFD to push away. And that means the Dire Clap wasn't going to apply the shock state. And my god, the cross under from Jack. Dude. All right, Jack staying alive here. Gets the YRC out from Danny. Full burst available, so you might as well use it to try and get this round number one back. Only one bullet in the chamber for Jack, though. Ooh, yo, 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 wait. We are uh, fast to slow things down. He's still got the jump heavy slash. Wait to steal a turn, Jack. Nasty, bro. You try and go for the anti anti air off of the BRC. It's not info, right? But it's like you're saying, right? The slowdown makes it so difficult to try to react to in time when you're trying to catch them on the other side off of that momentum. Now, Jack, you have a decent amount of concentration in the bank, especially with the focus super, but not enough time to get another bullet. Danny, not gonna let you live for this. Ow! Oh my god. 
the tap does finish. All right. This is a close round here. He was a round ender right into the chorus. Danny picking the perfect OST for losers finals right now. And Jack wants no part of it. Only wants to engage once you have the curse properly applied. But look how low we are in the resources. All right, Dyra clap. You, yo, close Dude. enough to get the 5K. And there's that cross under punish again. The shot behind the back will always look so cool. You cannot convince me otherwise. We're in the shock state right now. Trying to make your way back out. That's a, what? I did not think that that would cross up, but now Danny back against the wall. Oh, my fault, never mind. 2K, gunshot, not gonna work out here. Send the holy sword. Straight on through, break the glass. Jack, one touch away from falling this first round, but no. Stuck up against the wall. 50 meter for the Davis X knock, you know, we're all good on the bullet. All right. Both a significant pick away from victory. Oh my goodness, we run up, make you guess the low. All right, tied up in round three. Can't believe this is still the first game. Like, so much has happened, this is still the first game. Still still back and forth, these players are fighting for their lives right now. Curse applied, but no, instead of the gun, we're taking to the skies with the JPP. Ooh, yeah. nice, I like the steady aim. Catching out the stun edge right before it reaches you. Straight 5k does interrupt the 2k. Alright, wire speed doesn't give you a lot of Ooh. advantage on the air hit, but it gives you enough time for the safe go, right? Which is something that Jack was struggling to find the opportunity for in that rat matchup. So, a little bit more time here. Now, mm -hmm. there's especially now that you have the hard count. Jeez, IBFD pushing you a mile away. But the sliding into the DMs is certainly going to get you there. All right, the lightning right on through. Break the glass. And that was only the first game. I feel like we're on the second game. <laughs> That's I'm saying. I feel yeah, like that was the set ender right now. I'm sweating. And I'm not even in the game, right? I'm watching right. here from a third-person perspective. But I can see how hard these players are trying to fight for the grand finals. Yes. All right, some great interactions back and forth, especially too. How uh, quickly Jack gets out of the corner, I think that's important to call out because then that uh, means it's less time for Danny to apply shock state shenanigans. That yep. far slash finding the mark to contend against Jack's two slash or two S. Exactly. Oh, trying to pull out the far S though, just barely out of range. Jack, you know, has to pay a lot of respect to that sword normal, but how are you gonna find the whip punish right after? Damn, I like to run under, but no back throw puts you back in anyway. Yep. Ooh, Trey. We try it again. All right. It seems as though Jack has done some homework on those corner interactions because we have a lot of great interrupt opportunities. We were able to get that jump out on Fudre Arc out of the corner to get pushed out, but no concentration. So Danny definitely going to full send this interaction here. Ooh. 5K. Yep. Kick on through. We got the high knee loops. 50 meter available. No PRC off of the throw whip and just do it again. OTG for some bullets in the chamber. Jack, you're looking real rough oh. on the eight. We chip damage territory. No way. You Whoa. The guard no way. cancel. You still have FD finally. Danny fighting tooth and nail for that final pixel. And Jack defending for the light here. Heck, made it with the lightning. That was terrifying. Jack, really good use of the deflect shield, knowing that you had to get that spacing out and avoid the direct line, but still, Danny, able to get the positive bonus, looking for some burst to come back up. All right. All right. Corner carry. Full blast right here. Shot on through the 21 gun salute, looking for the meter to come back up so you can get the Ooh. focus buff rapidly running out of all the resources in the bank, but opting to use it for the fast RC steady aim. Oh my goodness, an interesting burst from Danny though at this life point. All right, see what we got. Yeah, nice YRC. Yashimiye waiting for the concentration to come back up. I don't think you're going to get any opportunity to safely reload. So Jack is just trying to pull up for a shot.
The bullet list combo Jack had to respect that Danny at any range would have taken the tempo needed even off of the small amount of time it takes to reload the bullet, right? So pulling up instead, no bullets required. Oh, nice. That's 6P. Be able to get a few bullets in the chamber. Catches the DP with a throw. Jack setting up to try to take the W here. Damage taken, Jack. Are you going to be able to tie it up here? Waiting for the 50. <laughs> right out of range of the DP. Mixed with the Wild Assault momentum. Jack ties it up. So you got Garb Break with a steady aim gunshot. And then Garb Broke again with your Wild Assault. You were able to continue pressure from that point forward. Because you can't steal your turn back. It's still Jack's turn. Yep so difficult to try and make your way back out if you go for the dp especially with all the momentum we're taking it's it's scary what if you just whiff on the other side jack making happy chaos almost look like a high mobility character at the end of the day as we head into game number three yes indeed apply the stank not gonna work that one does but the jump heavy first though from uh, Jack and just another early one here from Danny so we're on even playing field right now to start Ooh, counter hit bar slash that's gonna do a grip of damage stuck over here in the corner you don't have any resources to go for the hard knockdown but still Jack barely on his last legs in this first round Absolutely. I think that burst from Danny off the initial hit was so important to get that corner position and guarantee that positive bonus there after the shatter but now Jack really trying to catch things up through Deus Ex Machina, even up the health lead, but look at the meter advantage, right? Yeah. Danny still has 100 ready for the... <laughs> Bro, roll under the Sacred Edge. I was not looking for that. That's layer three. I thought you were just going to zone and try and look for something. Danny tries to go for the anti-zoning super, but Jack immediately ready to pull up for the stop, drop, and roll. Well, I just put my glasses on again. Uh, that's actually Ranger from DNF Duel. That's crazy. <laughs> Cat wants you to find the difference between these two images, but no, they look the same. Everyone looks the same when they're knocked down. Hard knocked down here. Jack trying to get the pressure started. Three bullets in the chamber and a full meter. No gunshot reloads and bang. Let me what? get a quick reload. Look, I am what blocking the out the hell was Sorry. <laughs> DRC down into the fuzzy. That was like a triple overhead for Jack. Oh. Out the you look huge. Not a happy chaos fan, but you know that was decent. I feel like that's what everybody else in the chat is thinking too, right? They're they're biting their lip. They're like, "Damn, this this Jack fellow is kind of nice with it." Why, why the backhanded compliment? Like, I don't like you. That was pretty good, man. <laughs> You're not my favorite, but that was pretty sick. Sometimes you gotta give respect, even if you know you're not a fan of the history of the character. Gotta give respect where it's due. And now Danny is like, damn, maybe the momentum's shifting out of my favor. Now Jack is the one turning up the aggression, especially, you know, you were up the 100 meter, but after the outplay on that Sacred Edge Super, really just took the wind out of your sails. Yo, Danny went chip. We stepped away to go oh. chip. Oh, Danny. El uh, Maza, no, you are locked into this character for the rest of the set. I have legitimately never seen your chip before. Never. Clearly, you put in some time, but let's see if it's going to be enough to bring it back uh, here. What is potentially the final game of Losers Finals. Okay, let's find out what this chip is about from Danny. That's what I'm saying. We need a new chat copy, Basta. We need a new prayer. We need a new ASCII. Trying to keep the pressure locked down in the corner here. There's an opening up with the overhead. What? I mean, it's a strong start for Danny right now. Got called out with 5K though, and it's looking south real quick. I know, the chip install looking a little rough. Every time you get hit by one of these combos, look how much more damage it's doing on your life bar. Yeah, you have some more mobility to get around it, but oh, hey, never mind the back dash to the far left. Looking a little nice. Wreck a scooper. A hard knockdown with Jack the 100 meter. Couple 2Ks. Hey, Squire, see who's bursting? Well, that's no how we, we got a red RC available, but don't even need it. The uh, command grab gets the kill. What is that mess, Pokemon Sleep? Okay, Yana, I understand that you're looking for the chip J2K, but the scarf 
looks ridiculous. I gotta be 100%. But it's been a ridiculous amount of damage off a 2D counter hit. Jack offs the burst out and bring you over to the other side. How do you see the jump 2K out of that? You don't, you don't actually see that. You know, sometimes if your vision is worse, you see a little better. You know what I'm saying, Zero? <laughs> I'm squinting. I can't see that. So okay, the combo, I like that one. Combo, but it's a real combo. 50% already down for Jack. Gets caught up on the tail end of the DP. And meter still available for Danny. All right, YRC. There Ooh. we go. Oh, trying to go for the left, right. 2K, 2D knockdown. Ooh, Danny. Blocks the wires, but no! Drop the confirm, that should be 5k follow up! No, burst interrupt, that is a scramble and a half. Danny is looking worse for wear going to this next round. Krager could have tied it up there. Now Jack with the reverse momentum. Let's see if you can close it out here. Run up with a gunshot. Oh, no. He started blasting. Alright, run up the close range, steady aim shot. Just oh, right up to the DP no. range. This is so much damage into the Deus Ex. It's not gonna be enough to kill even with the wall break, but Danny, worse for wear. I mean, tried to go for the deflect shield, and Jack said, I'll let you waste that down. That's fine. Tap dust for the victory. Jack takes it with a perfect round. 3 1, and I can't believe it. That final interaction. Losing momentum is able to change the story a little bit, but I don't know. Rat is getting out of his mind today. Well, Rats getting shot, round start. Nice phone set up here, and you're really trying to keep up pace. And because there's no curse applied to Amelia, it's hard to get a target lock for these gunshots. But the corner position, there's no way she's moving out of that. Stuck in the corner here, barely any resources. So I like the grab reset from Jack. Gives him a little bit of time to get some bullets in the chamber while you have the concentration buff as well. 2K2D, side swap. Right, right with the counter hit combo, evening up the health lead. Now Jack back up against the wall. No way to break the water, to break the wall with meter rather. But still rapidly building up that burst. Oh no! Shot out of the sky. Skeet shooting right now. Jack is looking for blood. All right, that's a strong start for Jack, honestly. Swap 2K 2D knockdown. That boom right after the close slash. Nice opener. Close yes. slash off the air pickup too. 50% meter no. available for the winger. There we go. The blue wild assault goes low with the fast RC. Unfortunately, too far for that lush shaker. So that's opportunity for Jack to get this whip punish. Ball again, break the glass with the 21 gun salute, even up the life total right now. Still rat 100 meter to your name. I think Jack staying right out of range. No, but you are not out of range of the far slash. Ring set up, another Capel. Got her 5D shatter, tying it up in rounds. Yep. And smart from Rat, swinging out of the gate with the far slash. Jack was trying to stay out of range of the winger, but you had to be careful of such a far reaching poke. Rat answering back when we get rolled through. Jack with the pressure. Oh, whoa. Nice 2D. Capel here. Nice. Got the cross up with the jump heavy. Damn. Caught out with the 5 p Yep. Great 2S. This should be able to wrap this up. It does succeed. Jack taking that first game back. All righty. The gun whip. Seals out the first game. This is already a different story than that winner's finals, but maybe Rat been sitting on the sidelines for a little bit, needs a second to warm back up as so we head into game number two, but Jack looking strong. Yeah, absolutely incredible start here for Jack. Um, I think that opening gambit there in the first game was all that we needed to see um, to show how locked in Jack is right now in this matchup. Yeah. Let's see it. Game number two, though. Rat, now that you're warmed back up, how are we going to try and adapt here? Oh, my God. Take that steady aim. Another quick draw. It's an early burst spend there from Rat. Another one right back for Jack. Wants to maintain that range control. That bullets, dude, that quick reload, we got it, thanks to the RC. And that'll kill. Damn. 
punch on through here. Break the glass again. Jack running away with the momentum. Okay, 2K trying to catch the approach. Also low profiling the far slash as well, so it's making Rat feel a little bit more uncomfortable to throw out that boat. Right. Another Babu Capel side swap. Nice low this time. Uh, turn up the pace. Activate Rat Mix. Exe. No, with the PRC down again. The JS actually catches out the hair car. Walk on the bathroom. Ooh, and I like the empty FD flicker. The fastball to go right for the empty low, and the OTG Bad Moon ties up the rounds. Jump on over. Doesn't get the whip punish on the 2S, though. Double bad moon. Can we make it three? Nah, it's the gold burst. Oh, we blasted. Good moon, bad moon, decent moon. It's a gold burst on both sides. All the meter in the world looking for something crazy. And it's the Capel. Same side opens you up. Oh, nice cross up here with the jump H. Carl will get the setup. Oh, Capel jumped out from Jack. Great navigation. Tech, looking to even up the life total, still a little bit to go. The hard knockdown, huge boom here. Are we gonna go for the burst? Oh, the 2P? Still able to jump out there and your goal burst, though. No! no out of Jack, but it's all the meteor in the world looking for the burst bait, too. No, just let it rock just yet. There it is. Wait for the draw to your best. Big counter hit to tie up the game count 1-1, one, one, but that was so close at the end of the game there. There was so much meter on the side of Jack, but Rat keeping it squirrely by taking to the skies. Yeah, absolutely terrifying interactions there. And I do love the patience from Rat to pull the burst because like you said, Jack was really seeking that burst opportunity from Rat and just would not give it up until it was you know, a do or die moment there. And we got very fortunate that it was able to hit because Jack could have you know, maybe stop the combo mid, you know, corner carry and still got the shatter. Yeah, right? Hard to say. What is this copy pasta in chat? Let's go, Sir Jack. Happy Chaos Yudu Gyapu. Skill gap this man. You got in the Katakana too? That is crazy, dog. And into game number three. Let's see if the copy pasta cheering on in the chat is enough to break the tie. 5k. Dash cancel after the close slash. Still keep that positive pressure again with the shatter. Nice kill here for Jack on a round. Quick one. No burst available, but it's all good. You have a round ahead to build it back up. Okay. Assault Rat trying to bring it back here. 50% down already. Looking at the positive bonus. Ooh. Cross up on the other side. Do we just go for the mid screen mix? Set up there. Oh no! Oh, I have to imagine that that was a drop there. Maybe not yeah. what you're looking for, the empty JH, but JP stops your momentum in its tracks. Jack still at 1 HP. 5Ks here. Lush Shaker pushes you straight back and gunshot. I don't care if you got a 6P. My bullets don't need an answer to that. God, break the glass straight through the wall here. No. Tried to. Such a Hail Mary hair car. Goes for burst, final opportunity. The air throws Jack, taking it with a 2-1 lead right now. And that's tough because off that shatter interaction, wake up hair car is such a tough call because it's slow startup. Gives Jack the opportunity to go for a punish because it's Jack's turn. Yes, you yep. have meter to go for the RC, but it's ultimately still Jack's turn. Unless if they decided to dash up, go for the HS, like that's that's tough. Yeah, it's so scary. You try to go for the JS, which is normally such a good button on Milia, but when you have the RC slowdown waiting for you, Jack, just looking for the air throw, able to seal out that game, and now we might be one game away from a reset if Rat's not able to tie it back up. All right, 6P, nice. We get burst, though. Cloned up, and that gives the six or far slash opportunity there. In the rat emojis in the chat. Can you hold on? Down 50 already off the wild assault. 50 in the bank. About to be another 50 in the full tension positive bonus. Jack! Yo! I, you know what? That's still pretty cool. Red RC at the throw. Gunshots with the bound. And then a cop 
concentration right after? Yeah. Are we styling? Dude, fast RC into the pickup off throw is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. The APM requirement, pretty cool. Got to give it to you. It's the cross up after the fast fall, though. Rat looking to try and bring it back here. About to be even on the burst. I want to talk about APM. How did we get a Capel that low to the ground? That's what I'm saying, dog. That's like the instant, instant Capel. If it were anyone but Rat, I'd be like, thinking emoji, but nah, he is just that nasty with yeah, it. Yeah. Break the glass. Look for this last hit. Jack. Yeah. Oh, off of the scramble. Able to mash into another 2P. That was a very good uh, FD real quick there from Rat to make that approach. He had stopped mid-screen. Uh, didn't want to get called out for an anti-air, but he's tapped us. Jack. I send a message here. Backdash to clone setup. Jump E to jail out. Air throw. Not quite yet. Pace, waiting for the meter to build back up. 50 on the side of Jack. Any tap could be it. Blocks the burst. That's the reset for Jack. Roll the scores back. Put the L on Rat's name. We got one more set here in Grand Finals. What's a uh, quick breakdown. Not only was it the BRC drift, we also were so well aware that we called out the burst. Like, yep. Jack. Keeping the pressure going. You knew exactly when Rat was going to panic, exactly when he was going to break. So he's taking a second, a quick little break here in the middle between the reset to recompose himself. And I saw that raid from Yorizord as well. You're just in time for the Grand Finals reset, the Shin Grand Finals here between Rat and Jack. Yes, indeed. And we still have opportunity to fill out that match, Reno, of course. This is the final game of the night. Let's do the best that we can to help support these players and eventually get a, a fair bit of a top four payout if we hit that $300 tier. Yep, let's see it. Game number one after the reset here. Taken to the skies with the JD. No, but okay, JH counter hit. Jack tries to go for the corner burst. Ooh, great 6P. Close last situation here. Tries to go for gun drop. A great back dash from Rat. Get the focus super up. Clone and look how much of a stopgap that gives Rat. Like the clone goes out, so Rat can't just dash forward and put themselves into a aerial position. Nice 2P interrupt on the roll through. Oh, they have the right off of the ground Capel off of the fastball. That is so evil. Rat just takes to the skies right now. It's close. I don't think it's quite able to kill. Oh, DJ here, car! Back-to-back -back air car? Are you kidding? <laughs> Bro is zooming. I thought I thought Happy Chaos was the dude with the whip in the end screen, but no, we are just driving it all the way through. Second round here, Grand Finals reset. Looks like Bad Moon opens up. Nice backdash on the gunshot there from Rat. Great reaction. And Lush Shaker still not quite your turn. Goes for Fastfall Capel set up again. Alright. KS on through. Try and make your way. Is that Secret Garden I see in the chat? Interesting. As you get sent through the wall here, <laughs> lots of meter on both sides. Rat trying to find a way to utilize this burst. Is it a wild assault? Ooh. What? What? Lush Shaker there. Oh, Bat Moon rush down. Let's go, Rat. Putting a game on the board for the grand final reset. All right, we at least stopped the momentum, and that's important. Exactly. That was a lot of games won in a row from Jack here, but Rat finally able to turn it up to 200. No, 300 here for the grand final reset. Mm. Put a game on the board once again. Even if Jack's able to bring it back, at least back and forth is what you're looking for, rather than just getting shot through the glass and taking so much damage every time. A very stressful set, for sure. In the case of Rat, I'm, I mean, one, just the uh, amount of movement that you have to uh, represent just to avoid these gunshots, you dashed into a 5P. That sucks. Ooh. to the corner here. 50% meter for Jack. Yeah. The OTG shot into the reload. It looks pretty sick, I'm not going to lie to you. Good way for you to get the resources back if you're all good on the focus. And Jack focusing, locking in here for game number two. Just set up and again, we're going low this time, all right? 
very cautious in this corner. Three bullets left, low concentration. And he get the jump beat, but no concentration available here for Jack. And the, you know, damage is already done because now you have the clone able to get a retreat. Full concentration build. Them, BRC, the air dash on the other side goes for the yeah. fuzzy as well. Jack should be able to close this Wait. out with a gun whip shot. Okay, well, uh, one all. Grand finals reset. Mm -hmm. One love. Who said honest mids in the chat? Did you see the BRC that just happened? I encourage you to hit the clip button right now. Watch back the past 30 seconds. Honest mids, that's a little crazy. I'm gonna be real with you. Jack is absolutely cooking right now. But still, Rat trying to hold on here in the grand final reset. And the score is starting out just the same as it did in the initial grand final set because it was a uh, quick reminder that 1-3. Rat taking that first game, right? And it was tied up. Jack started running away with that. Jeez. Yo, retreat away from the clone. And already a perfect aim set up here from Jack. Nice Whoa. jump in. All right, that was a sick setup. I'm not going to lie. Caught with the wild assault. Uh, wild assault momentum there. Had to use the 100, but you got the positive <laughs> bonus afterwards. So all good. PRC to stay safe, too. You know, just a block string into concentration, and the moment that rat started moving, we go PRC. Nice air throw. Jack's air throw game is absolutely insane throughout the set. Yeah, right? No cognizant. There are a lot of ways that rat has to, uh, you know, made it out. It knows exactly when you're looking for that optimal distance. Yeah, just the air to air game has been crucial in this match alone. Because uh, rat is supposed to be the aerial superiority with Milia. But Jack yeah. is out here with jump P to jail out and still hold corner position. Has been frequently air throwing in a situation Ooh. where Rat is normally the one going for these air throws. Yeah, and really smart use of the roll as well. Jack, not even just using it for mix, but also as a beautiful low profile, right? We saw it against the charge stun edge. We saw it against the far slash as well. And it's really keeping Rat from using one of his best pokes in neutral. Full concentration, he gave me the room for the brain blast. Oh no, the left, right. Oh my god. Gunshot on the other side. Insane work here. IBFD to try and stay alive here, but Rat gets caught up by the shot. Popping yeah. not to use the wild assault here. Oh, trying to stay alive with no. the first, but no, easily baited by Jack. As he goes up 2-1. Okay. This is looking rough for Rat right now. Back up against the wall. Potentially one game away from dropping here. But, mm -hmm. oh man, grand final reset. You got to summon up all the hope you got. Any Rat fans in the chat, drop the Rat emojis. Whatever copy bosses you got for him. He needs the support as he heads into game number four here. Jack looking one game away from sealing out TNS number 101. Orange five games, Rat. I'm trying to find the close, a way to close this gap. Ooh. Very cautious. I'm picking our first opener. Nice back dash, avoiding the wild assault. Damn. I keep moving because then that messes with the uh, you know the reticle on the screen there, so it's not going to target Rat. Lowers the concentration of Happy Chaos too. The longer that's out. Nice finish up slash. There we go. Still representing the far slash, right? Yes, you can roll through it, but it's pretty committal from Jack. You still have to represent it. Keep it on the brain. It's going to be a hard knockdown for Rat here. Tries to go for the empty low, but Jack takes to the skies. Blast it. Nothing. Yo, oh, great execution here, because that does offer that Deus Ex mock, you know, get that full reload, and Jack returning the favor. And he aim catches up the back walk with the 2S. I can't believe 2S was able to reach that. Ooh. And again, the air throw, Jack's accuracy has been absolutely insane. Not gonna let you get away with the right off the ground Capel. Now it's tournament point for Jack. Rolling. Yep, time to go for the preemptive roll stop. again. Another air throw grounds you. How is this happening? It Milia is the queen of the skies, and yet Jack says, I don't I've never heard of that before. 
Exactly. Everything the light touches is my kingdom. Everything the gun is able to aim on just keeps you locked down every single time. Dash on over gets caught up with the airborne cross up. Still not able to get a full confirm off of it. Rat. 50 meter about to be 50 for the wild assault. How can you open up Jack? Just a compel. Jump heavy. Follows through. Should have air car to follow. Not able to get the shatter yet. So we have a ring set up. Nice air to air. Okay. Rat is still in this. About even on resources here. Alright, let's see if you can tie it up here, Rat. It is still tournament point for Jack. And with a counter hit, JS from the skies. Yeah. Gonna be a great start. Alright, got the strip on that burst. Ooh. Good shot, but just runs up right behind it with the 2K2D. Sneaks Ooh. me challenges, though. Dash up, and really meant that dash up, too, because we were chasing a back dash from Rat, 2K. Red RC pickup, last ditch effort, burst opportunity here for Rat. Yep, Not kind of really, you've been oh, air thrown so many times. No, there was no burst of bait. All right, Rat, got to keep the pressure on here. Same side overhead, Yo. four times in a row, but Jack's still going to get opened up by it sometimes. You got to keep it to the basics. MT low, baits out the burst, but no punish. I can't believe it. The APM just increased oh. exponentially for Rat, and that far-reaching overdrive will get the kill. I mean, honestly, did you see how many actions Rat took for that corner sequence to bait out the burst and still continue pressure? Jack had was caught on a back foot and unable to push back out, so here we are, two all in Grand Finals reset. The final game of the evening. Rat came in from the winner's side, but got reset. Jack had all the losers momentum in the world, but is getting stopped in his tracks in mm -hmm. such a close game. This is the final one. This is for all the marvels. Duel one, let's rock. Plus shaker closing the gap. Nice roll through was opening up Rat here. Should get chatter in a moment, but bursting at the last possible second. Yep, taking to the skies, trying to go for these super jumps and make Jack feel real bad, you know, looking for a whiff on the air throw. Stinks early with it as well. You know what? The momentum shift is here. Rat yep. is moving it incredibly well right now. Really trying to keep uh, Jack on a back foot. Just like, I mean, honestly, the rate of speed that Rat is moving around the street compared to that last game is so insane right now. Yeah, tried to, you know, squirrel around it, but once Jack was able to get the block stun down, immediately looking for the throw, that's the FD Flicker uh -oh. looking for the reversal. Slash your close up. Look how he's so happy with the close slashes. Yeah! Looking for the high knee again. Tournament point for Jack one round away. I'm sealing it out. What? Yo, just able to walk back, steady aim, but we're low concentration while the salt to get the guard crush. And that's opting for a concentration opportunity with reload. Yep, knockdown back dash, trying to use all the resources in the world. Still got the bullets in the chamber, and the concentration keeps the pressure going. Rat, how are you going to escape? Oh, oh, oh. All right, we still have burst. This might be your last opportunity to be able to spend it. Oh, but you know he's looking to bait it out. Are you going to hold on to it? No, finally lets it rock after the two hits. Two feet. Not by the rock, but 5K does off of the RSD jack takes it home your champion of TNS Strive number 101. And just rat fighting tooth and nail for every single inch in that set. I mean, seriously, if you look back at the first game of this reset and then look at the second game right after, rats just increase speed throughout the set to really try to open up Jack was incredible. But my goodness, the air-to-air -air defense from Jack was insane. That is the hallmark of the set.